Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello everyone, and welcome to session 32 of Thorn Top Sands, and the second year anniversary. Hi, <laughs> welcome, thank you Frankie for the 24 months of support, that's, Georgia was just saying how it's very cute that you've, uh, it's the second year anniversary of TAS and you've been subbed for uh, 24 months, so it's pretty neat. Uh, thank you so much Frankie for the constant and constant support through your art through you being here through just every essence of your being uh that you've poured into the stream and the community thank you so much also hello draconic uh skull thank you for the follow hello rovo um b town thank you so much for the the sub as well thank you for the 18 months i am doing good i hope you're doing grand too um if you want sticking around uh small appreciate you've been here and subbed i hello appreciate you as always and uh if you are sticking around, maybe join the, the giveaway. Um, and that goes to everyone else in chat. If you haven't already entered, you can enter through the exclamation mark giveaway command or through um, t Instagram or Twitter. But you can also, using if you look at your channel point redemptions, there are layer actions and just other redemptions that are all geared towards the campaign. Using one will give you an extra entry into the giveaway. Sounds like a Jamiro Quiet. Mm, we, uh, we've curated the vibe for this, this stream. Thank you, Ruffle, so much for the gifted sub. You are an absolute bean. Um, and also, hello, Sam. Hello, Red Eye Target. Um, where are we? But yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Hi. Uh, coincidence, I think not. Ooh, <laughs> thanks, you guys, for the amazing... You're an absolute bean, Frankie. I, I hella appreciate it. You're a star. Um, you want to give chat red inspiration? Well, there you go. Chat, feel inspired. If you were working on something, maybe uh, maybe you might have an extra little D6 in your pocket to, uh, to give you a boost on what you're working on right now. Um, but yeah, uh, where am I? So yeah, uh, before we get into the session, I'm going to do a quick little announcement of, um, of some stuff. I Because I've been a bit uh, haggard running around, I haven't slept since uh, I had like two hours of sleep today or uh, this this evening. Um, so I'm a bit haggard in places, so I haven't been able to finish the chibis that are going to be given away. But if you uh, don't know what you, you're in to win, there are a set of um, a TAS merch uh, set of a poster and the new chibi merch that were uh, stickers that are coming out. Uh, they do not. Um, we thought it'd be best as a, uh, that like interactions with the stream itself would be more impactful and like take part in the uh, the session more. <laughs> Then, uh, like, uh, through subs and bits, even though those are greatly appreciated in supporting me, um, this I think is a lot more effective. 
yeah no she's she's right like it's a reason why she didn't ask me out there <laughs> initially because she knew i wouldn't sleep like i wasn't sleeping already uh where are we there we are thank you matt for entering the giveaway um if um i'm gonna shoot i'll probably let them know before we start to keep an eye on uh redemption just in case i forget you know, when we heard your voice, we inspired your your sweet heartbeat town. But yeah, um, you can win a. I'll pull them up on. I don't know if I have any of the stuff on screen, but if I do this, you can see the pendant that Georgia makes. Uh, you'll see the lonely cup pendant. That's what one of the pieces of uh, a merch we're giving away. It's uh, she's uh, very helpful and definitely made a pendant and like. Um, it's sterling silver. It's hella cool, and uh, you can get a chance to win win a piece of um, TAS silver of your own. Or you can get some custom made dice from Dice Hug, who we've been partnered with for both uh, this stream and the TAS poster challenge, which we'll be talking about later on. And um, you'll be able to either win some art from me and Sam, and also the merch pack that I mentioned earlier. Oh shit, I've, uh, we've been meaning to play Sea of Thieves actually lately, so I, that's, that's a hella sweet that it reminds you. Either way, I got some. Hey, you go, you go, you go, Rovo. There, there's some neat little redemptions, and like where are the party are heading uh, this session? I've got some some stuff in mind for them for them to do. Where are we? But yeah, um, but yeah. Before we start, uh, I just want to also announce yeah, the task pause challenge. The um, there isn't a promo for it yet, but it is ha is coming back. Um, so if you want to take part in world building, uh, Shrelo, and have your art showcased on the stream and impact the setting, uh, maybe you want to uh, enter. If you've uh, seen the previous posts before from last year's and the years before, uh, it's the same rules apply. And um, this year's prizes will be a similar set of like George's jewelry, uh, some art from me. Um, the Goblin King card game that uh, Jake was released, and we are hoping to get it all signed by the, the cast. So that might be a neat little little piece of uh, of cool cool stuff if that's of interest. Not to like say like we're we're huge and stuff, but I think it'll be it's just neat having a piece of us on with the cards. And maybe I can convince Jacob to have sorry Piper to to make a custom card for the winner as well. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah. Um, Yeah, uh, with that, I'm going to do a quick recap of the session. Uh, last uh, week, the party did a bit of downtime in Otani, having just uh, got... Oh, wow, Georgia. Thank you so much. You're a star. And our soup bean. Thank you. Thank you for starting the hype train. You're <laughs> a sweetheart. Thanks. Um, smooch. But as I was saying, they can't see me and I'm getting really embarrassed. Um, what was I going to say? Um, what was I going to say? I forget. Um, oh yeah, the recap. So last session, we had a bit of downtime in Otani. The party went to the pet shop that uh, Rocky has been wanting to go to for a while now. Uh, they bought a parrot for uh, Randall, a Dracula uh, bird, or Dracula parrot, and a um, two, I think two bee bears for Rocky. And they were they did want a rock roll, but like it was a bit too expensive. And the... Uh, the clerk wasn't 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 uh they weren't a big fan of the clerk um but they also were uh, they went clothes shopping um and a bit of things off screen where like there's uh they've got some furniture for their little onsen um and um something else happened i can't remember what else happened they hung out uh, at the start of the session over at um what is a lo-fi boys um chrysalis uh, that has now become a lavender field, and got to got to talk with uh, Hera um, Emika, and learn that she's uh, related to time. Hello, uh, the pigeon killers. Hi, um, roving jacks. Yes, no, I know. <laughs> I'm glad you glad you like that one. There was also yes, they fought a uh, bandit called Roving Jacks, um, and uh, Lonico being a little snitch, uh, snitched on him while the party beat him up, and. Um, because he he works with and magics and they don't like that which is just like a black market ring of um magical equipment and stuff but yeah um that's a recap of the um 
the session we're going to throw in the intro uh just a reminder again that you can enter the giveaway with exclamation mark giveaway and also through um liking and retweeting the tweet on twitter or doing the same on instagram and sharing it to your story all entries up until the end of the stream will count but yeah see you guys in a hot second When you rub against the wall and you cannot fall, so go on, go on. Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to session 32 of test. Just could, could we get a quick little uh, check if um, you guys could hear the intro that was just played? Um, because Sam says he could hear it, but... Uh, wow, and that, you said that in such a distrusting way. No, I believe you. Sam said he could hear it, so but I don't know I mean, if that's trusting enough. But... I, but I, tr I trust you, Sam. I trust you. I trust you. It's just our fellow. I don't know what's why his I name? Put you at like three pitches up. It's just it's just how you hear me. You see, it's it's, it's, I, it's kind of rude, but like it's it's what it is. Hello, uh, well, Austin. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna put on the Otani playlist as uh, you guys um, ended last session, having heard hear you message you, Lonico, mentioning that she is at the museum um, and asking if she could meet you there uh, later on today. As you guys leave the uh, Kedix Threads uh, store. Um, after getting uh, some uh, measurements done for your for your new outfits, let's put you guys on the map. While uh, Satoshi is off doing his own thing with Peach, searching for uh, a place to refuel uh, their um, your airship. What do you guys want to do? Uh, as it is, what does oh? Give me a second. I'm just gonna do this. Give me I'm gonna Did you need off. us to subtract subtract the gold for our Yes please. Clothes. I have another for you. I was meant to do that off, off stream, I completely I forgot. Already did that. It's okay. It's just cheap. There you are. There is the, the music. Um since I have a weird amount of gold, <clears throat> I, I already have that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to 
But yeah, uh, what you guys want to do um, as you're out on the streets. And let me just check what I think. Believe the time is around like midday, like two ish, uh, two p.m. As you guys are walking the streets, seeing just a few um, citizens passing by a guard here or there. You notice, uh, Randall, as like you walk out with your parrot on your shoulder, this huge parrot bird, uh, Dracula, sorry, uh, Dracula parrot on your shoulders with its crimson red and black feathers. It squawks as a rockerel comes strolling by with a guard uh, riding the... Uh, the giant bird passes by and looks down at your parrot and then you and gives you a little glare oh yeah i was gonna get one of those too but you know they're a little flashy this little guy's perfect for me <laughs> suit yourself I give, little, I, I give him a little head pat or at least try to if you like <laughs> might be aggro roll oh, animal handling for me oh boy howdy i <clears throat> oh, speaking of vampire roomies yeah you got a little vampire roomie there Suit your vibes perfectly. Twenty, yeah, oh. no, he he playfully nibbles on your finger as you do that. Oh, as um, guy. and then he just gives you a little squawk with a uh, reaffirming happy little little chirp. But then he launches himself off your shoulder and then just flies off. Oh, into the distance. No, dude, <laughs> come back, buddy. I got treats for you! Does he keep going? <laughs> yeah, he, he just goes for a while. What the hell? Also, we're just gonna need to turn our cams off, by the way, because uh, Jacob's cam isn't, isn't doing too hot. Or Jacob's PC. Hyper. Isn't doing... That's Sorry, $2 Piper. in the that's, in the jar. That's $300 Piper I already know. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I guess Wait, I should have uh, put it uh, attached a string to his foot or something. Shoot! I'm, it just I'm sure he'll come back <laughs> eventually. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Hopefully, I mean, like, hope. I mean, in the mass expanse of the world, he'll fly back to me. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. There are treats for you here, buddy. <laughs> like I just yell into the into the air, pretty much. <laughs> As you do that, some lookers on just like glance at you and like, "Is he okay?" You hear uh, the odd mutter here and there. I I I just pull back a little bit, like whatever. Okay, well it'll it'll start <clears throat> itself out, like. I don't want to make a scene. Uh, have I, uh, have we already deposited the gold and stuff? Uh, the kilogram gold, or is that something to do? You haven't done it yet. You need to go to the bank still. Okay. And we're right by there perfectly. Would that, would that be okay with everyone if I... Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm speaking. I'm not... God talk for a, second. Spoke for a second. God. <laughs> God said, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, to an extra as you right, uh, and leave we're like right beside it too, so it's like yeah. present to us anyway. Yeah, so it's like on a like mound of stone that towers over the rest of the um, the village as like steps go up in like uh, nestled amongst like uh, the stone and tree roots as it goes up into this giant like um, this giant regal palace looking building. Um, as like you can see, as you walk up, you can see just like filigree of like um, uh, gold and um, carvings of stone and wood embedded into the into the walls, depicting various uh, just bits of just various fish and koi fish swimming around and um, adding to the the ornateness of this this building. Um, and you see just these, as you, like, it takes you a while to get up the steps. It's, like, it, it's it's a workout just getting up, like, the first turn as it, like, goes up and up and up. And you can, like, as you get, like, halfway, you can see over the entire, the entire village. Um, 
and just off in the distance you can see a faint bit of the lavender fields. Uh, I was gonna ask, nice. <laughs> it's gorgeous um, up here. And that's like you do that. Uh, Randall, could you roll me perception? I can. I don't like the tone of voice you said that in, but that's her. 21. You see uh, your, what, what did you name? Did you name them yet? I have not named him yet, no. No worries. As like you, you um, as you like just look out off into this and you see your uh, parrot just fly in here and there and like just soaring through the air like a fiend. <laughs> like a fiend and like is he yeah, doing like, like shenanigans it's like, shenanigans and stuff? A bit, a bit yeah and also like it's just like the, its presence is like looks like scare the other birds that are flying around oh, as well. That's my boy. Alright we'll, we'll catch him later. I, I, if, I'll, I'll try to keep an eye on him. Hopefully he's still out, out and around the city by the time we get out of the bank. We all know how long these kind of things can take. I don't. I've never been to one of these before. You've never been to one of those. I'm just walking. No, just no, no, yeah. just like <laughs> That's all good. As you continue making your way up, you eventually reach the courtyard of the palace. Uh, so give me a second as I'm going to just pull up my thing. As you like reach the ca uh, the castle, you can see that like it's standing on a carved platform of like what looks to be forged uh, beings. Low as you recognize the like the shapes as those of uh, the forged of ancient Isoto, holding up the towers, uh, not the tower, sorry, the uh, the pillars and uh, the roof and like the um, the plinth that the castle uh, sits on. As you can see, a few official-looking Janasi elves and tieflings, and like the odd goblin and Bukoran, um, walking out of like these giant uh, doors. Actually, no, they're not that. They're not. They're giant to the Bukoran. They're like they're they're fairly uh, normal-sized doors to you guys. Um, as like there's a, a plaque outside one of the buildings that mentions uh, official government business um, and affairs. I don't trust official government business, I'll be honest with you. It's always shady. I mean, this should be just simple enough. It's just going to be an exchange. Mm. Like, I don't have to make an account or anything. It shouldn't be, like, a setup or anything, Truthfully, you know. I Randy, mean, we're adventurers, uh, so... That Randy, should I think, help. I think you should just put the gold under your mattress. That way, when the banks crash, you don't have to deal with the whole shenanigans of it. I'm, but it's. I just want to get it. I could still do that with the other part of the money. This is just not really usable right now. I'll do that with the money I I obtain. Mm. I'll put it into my bedroll. Right. You're part yeah. of the adventures go, right, Randall? Yeah. It should be fine. I just, you know, it's always a little bit worrisome going. To, you know, after escaping prison, they'll have like records of all that. I say that in a hushed tone. But... <laughs> If there are any guards around or anything like that. You want to roll stealth? Would it, to see. would it help if I paid it in? Ooh. Yeah, actually, I think that might be a better idea. We give it. Like, they're always supportive of having, like, a, a, a kids start a young account. They like that. <laughs> oh, we can get Peach in, uh, in on this, then. I don't know if we should get Peaches in on it. You know, they were for, like, yeah, that might be and good. she just kind of, like, gestures to, like, the hair because... <laughs> Yeah, Peaches, Peaches is not with us right now. Like the uh, her and um, that's Satoshi, uh, or I think her uh, and Satoshi are off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they're, they're on me. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. The government's just kind of always a shady thing, uh, uh, specifically because they arrested me uh, over nothing uh, previously, and I just the more I hang around them, the more I get a little bit of weary. Is the best. No, I get you. I'll pay it in for you, Randall. I'll just right. give you the money after. I appreciate it, though. Roll I'll strength. Just hand over. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, I mean, it's, a kilo, it's a kilogram. I don't know what. Yeah, but like, 
Is that hefty? I'm, I'm, like, I'm not good at, Is like, that the... kilogram of gold hefty? It's a kilogram of gold or a kilogram of feathers. What's heavier? As yeah, Lo, Lo just gives a bit, but then she she's she she holds it up, and she's like she's 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 she's, she's 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 tanking this piece of gold. <laughs> you you can hear a bit of laborious breathing here and there, but okay, let's go. <laughs> and I go You're to a the... strong little one. Uh, th oh, also thank you for the the heal, Neo. Yeah, as like, as you, um, as like, you see Loniko uh, cross the threshold. You see one of the forged plinth statues, uh, plinths carved into the, uh, into the, into the, the foundations. A little uh, spirit pushes off, floating towards you, Randall, swirling around you, and it gives you a little boop as you get for healing. Oh, that's that. a good sign. Randall As... doesn't need any heals. He's strong. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was hurt. <laughs> also, thank you for uh, Sammy. Uh, but yeah, as um, Lo, you cross the threshold. You hear Yuki's voice in years. Yuki, I, I, you know, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm thinking. I don't think you should trust these these criminals. <clears throat> they, they might be, they might be trying to launder money through you, Lonika. <laughs> Listen, my Kai. I'm. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm. I'm, I'm, ju I'm just Kai looking out for you. Fine. We are both um, fully aware of who they are. My Kai is just like my guy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> my Kai. <laughs> now, like, l l l low. I don't know, man. That Rocky fella. Something a bit fishy about, like, about him. Rocky's like He's playing fine. with flip right now, like a <laughs> <laughs> uh, zoned out, staring at. The Front. No, no, no thoughts behind the, uh, his eyes right now. Mm. But yeah, as like you cross in after like you hear Yuki's voice in your head, you enter a for you a fairly high ceilinged room. Uh, we can see like a f it's quite large and like um, this is just a desk at the center with a few sofas here and there, and it's very uh, well presented with. Um, with a polished, a uh, lacquered floor, and you can see like a few Genasi, um, just looking at some paperwork over at the desk. Genasi and yeah, fire Genasi, mm. and <laughs> and a um, like a group of three goblins in suits, just like t discussing something in the corner as goblins? they go through a door. Goblins. <laughs> Yeah, this time you notice, uh, Rocky, that it is po uh, populated by several goblins. Um, no, I've, I've, I was like, trust me. Rocky may have noticed, but Piper has. Uh, as you like uh, enter, low, uh, you you hear just a voice come from uh, the side of the door that like you you don't see as the doors open. C can I assist you, ma'am? A robotic voice uh, says as you see a. Um, a very simple, round, uh, featured, uh, forged being in a suit um, and a harry uh, with uh, fire uh, markings around it uh, stands uh, holding a clipboard, looking at you. Oh, um, hello. Um, I'm part of the Adventurers Guild, and um, whilst adventuring, I um, found this goal, but it, I would like to exchange it for something more usable. She's just struggling to hold it. <laughs> ah, we can possibly look at the bank and seek uh, possibly an exchange for for the gold. Um, but that would be may, great. For formal reasons, I would need to ask how you acquired said gold. Uh... Well, um, whilst on a on a on a quest, um. Is this like a big bar of gold? I can't even. I can't. Even. It's I, like I'm a sure block. It's, it's like, like a piece like a of block. a pillar. Okay. Um, we were facing um, like this um, monster. It was a very strange yokai. Um, it turn. It could turn things into gold. Um, and it kind of turned a rock into gold. And now I have this. 
Ah, interesting. We have we have heard report of a strange creature roaming the uh, the wilds, doing this 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 uh, this effect. We we may be able to see if uh, this this piece of gold is uh, tr convertible. Um, follow me, please. I'll take you to uh, the banking quarter. Uh, it's not a convertible. It's a it's a, <laughs> it's a block of gold. Do you say that through the door? Because are, are you have you gone in, Rocky? <laughs> Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I do, something will happen. I don't trust Rocky. <laughs> As like you walk past uh the three goblins, you say, "Yeah, yeah, okay." If we do this, then we can we can get that trading group organized, and then and then we can get those fireworks. Yes, I. That's excellent. Perfect. We walk past this. Nice one, Sammy. As they high five each other, Who and then they rush off. The, the three goblins that were, like will huddle in suits. I wonder uh, what that was. What is, but, but, wait, who heard that? <laughs> Did I hear oh, that? Only Lo Nico. only Lo Lonico heard that. Sorry. Okay, okay. Oh. I, I didn't know if it was me walk past. I don't know where Rocky's at right now. He's just hanging out. <laughs> I think you and me are both outside the bank right, around the. Yeah, door. you guys are outside. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a there's a bench outside for you guys to sit down at if you. <laughs> As um, send the fifteen-year-olds in to do your banking. <laughs> Give me a second. But yeah, as you go in, you um, and like you enter into another room that's just like this one, but there's uh several rows of lines, but all of them are empty, and you can see at the tills are a Serbacoran working uh, and one Janasi working in different little booths. And uh, one of the Bakurans beckons you forward. Ah, yes. My colleague here will take care of this for you. Um, if you need assistance, I will be waiting at the door. Um, and if not, I hope you have a great rest of your day. As they okay, go back to uh, their business. Much, they give you a little bow and go to the, go about their business. All right, how can I help you, ma'am? Um, I have this gold that needs converting. And maybe checking, I got it on an adventure, um, so I guess it might not be ah, solid. I mean, yes, we, 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 there might be might, might be some counterfeit gold. Someone's trying to try to tr sneak up your, under your nose or something. We've had a few adventurers come through with it with that. All right, hand it over here, please, ma'am. Just like lugs it onto the counter. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. They like. Twonks and slams into the counter, creating a dent in it as the goblin, uh, the Bukharan, is struggling to just drag it across. Uh, just, 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 could you give it a little push foot nudge, please? Can I use my mage hand to give it a push? <laughs> you can. As a little fox leaps out of your hand and then just nudges it. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let me just. Okay. Whilst they're looking over it, can I cast mending on the dent? <laughs> you can. And it does, yeah, like, it takes about, like, a minute for them to, like, look over it. It's like, they uh, look to be casting a few spells on it. They wave a Shiseki stone that's, like, uh, encased in a contrap, like, a scanning contrapment. As, like, this woo-woo-woo noise is being made as, like, they're scanning over the gold. They start knocking it and just eyeing it up real good. As, like, the desk is just, like, having little tiny foxes hammering on it to fix it back up. <laughs> As like you notice one little Yuki look up at you and then give you a thumbs up when it's done, and they rush back to you. Every They're also in hard hats. I would like to know. <laughs> of course, safety first. Of course, exactly. Yuki not being <laughs> safe, never. But yes, they look at the gold and they. Uh, okay, <clears throat> this looks to have been um, charmed uh, through transmutation spell, but it's it's it is it is pure solid gold. Um, we could we could we could do a quick conversion for that of you now. There is conversion wise, there has been an influx of gold lately through. Um, I don't know if you've you've heard news of uh, the creature uh, of a, a, the uh, the wanted uh, criminal Sanyi. Yi. Um, oh been... yes, I see. Uh, they've been. Um, they've, they've 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 led to. They've led to several raising. Um, What's the word? A, fl a fluctuation of gold. Uh, big banker talk, uh, so to speak. That's uh, causing the price of gold to go down. Um, 
So this might you could either hold on to it now if you'd like, but um. Uh, how much would it exchange for now? Uh, just give me a second. I'm just gonna check the uh, exchange rates for you now. Alright, this 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 could net you seventy two gold. And how much would it have been before this influx of gold? It would have roughly converted direct equally to um what's the word? A hundred gold. Mm. And roughly around that. I assume Rocky and Randall are 120, within 120 feet away from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. I shall cast a yeah, message to Randall. It's, um, it's 70, 72, right? Mm-hmm. Is 72 gold okay, Randall? <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, I, I considering just yesterday I had, like, six gold, I'll take any any more amount than that and be happy. That's fair. And, and I'll say to the, the, the person, I'm like, oh, oh, yes, that's fine. I'd like to exchange it now. I'm a little tired carrying it around. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, we can sort, we can sort that out for you. <clears throat> Thank you very as, much. Um, as you see two more rotund-looking uh, forged beings come over, picking up the gold, and then take it away into uh, a back room. All right, so give me a minute. I'll just get, uh, get you gold for you now. As they start preparing it into separate uh, bags of um, plastic bags of coins of 20 gold per bag. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Thank and here's a little notation. Could you sign this, please, ma'am? Oh, yes, of course. And uh, you, you you said you'd, you obtained this through adventuring, correct? Through a quest? Uh, yes. Would I be able to see your guild membership just so I can I can note that down in your license instead of seeing any other form of identification as it's a lot easier? Yeah, here you go. Perfect. Excellent. <clears throat> Alright, there you are, Miss uh, Miss Nico. Uh, thank you uh, thank you for uh, attending Otani Bank. Uh, and we hope uh, we hope to see you again soon. But if not, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And she waves and leaves. Mm-hmm. Out of the bank. <laughs> yeah. Like Good that. Job, that was though, roughly about like if a, a quick little five ten about ten minutes of a uh, time spent in there. Like as she just comes out, you guys. What were you guys doing, Wayne, in that ten minutes? Is there anything fancy? Were there? Did you say there were fish? That I could look at. I mean, there's like there's, there is like a little a pond of fish. Um, yeah, I, I can just look at the fish. Yeah, you can you can look at the pond here. Yeah. Uh, were they there all any just people, be swimming like, going by and stuff like that, like the chatter. Yeah, like this. No, it's just like people, just like guards and like uh, official government-looking people walking, uh, walking past. Can I roll either like perception or a, I mean, it would probably be perception to like hear any chatter that might be relevant. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen. Like, mm -hmm. what do the if there's any people talking about the lavender field too? Like, I, I want to know what like the common thought is on that. Yeah. Well, you hear a few things about different random things. Uh, the first being um, some some people passing by as they're leaving the building. Oh, did you hear? Like, it's the uh, the last day of the uh, the Wisdom King exhibit uh, before they head back to the mainland. Did, did you get a chance to see it? Yeah, it was it was it was okay. It wasn't. Wasn't anything too fancy. I was expecting a bit more, to be honest. I mean, when you hear Wisdom King, you think grand, lavish, but no, it was just it wasn't it wasn't much really. Um, and then you also hear um, comments about like the uh, the lavender field just like having suddenly appeared and how 
it's a nice pop of color uh, when they look out uh, towards the uh, the forest instead of seeing a sea of trees. There is also comments about uh, a few uh, Tengu uh, burger stalls giving free samples around. Ooh, that's mighty tempting. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I'd be doing probably in the time frame until Lonico came up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, she comes out with a few, several bags of gold coins, chinking away. As uh, she uh, she comes out with no gold block, but just glinting of gold little coins. Here you go, Randall. You should just give him all the bags. Do we want to split this up amongst us, or is it okay if I just take it all? I think you could probably keep all of this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> My man finally has two gold he can like rub together. <laughs> chink, chink, chink. I can buy so many bananas with this. Yeah, anything else you'd like to do? Oh, ah, that, that was my only thing. I mean, if you guys are ready to head to the museum, I'm down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you have anything, Rocky? No, nah, I think I, I think I'm good. I don't really uh, know what I would want to do. How are those fishes? Oh, they're pretty cool. They're pretty neat. I think about naming some of them, but uh, I, I don't want to get attached. So, fish are pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> go go to the museum, I guess. You think they'll have like bones, like prehistoric bones, there at the museum? Well, I heard that it's not actually as exciting as people thought. So like okay, now, maybe I, just to... like one bone. Yeah, maybe. Like a femur or something. I don't know. The bones would be the most exciting part to me. All right. Yeah, let's go. I got a message from a friend that they'll be there. So. Oh, perfect. We'll have a guide. Oh. Uh. No, no I, I, I don't want to sound like like rude at all, and I don't want to sound like a jerk at all. But you, what other, what other, what friends? What other friends? I didn't know you had other friends. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh well, <laughs> it's actually the priestess that um, helped me become a shaman and guides oh, me to my mind temple for the first time. Okay, okay then. Uh, all right, yeah, no, I appreciate that. That's cool. Yeah, I, I, again, I wasn't trying to be like hostile or rude or. <laughs> or oh, I just was curious because you just mainly hang around us so i just didn't know if anyways let's go yeah as you um make your way back down the steps it's a um it is a lot easier compared to making the hike up but like eventually you you make your way down and like as you make your way towards the uh the museum you see a few banners here and there uh mentioning the uh the arrival of the wisdom king exhibit uh, and like it's uh, stick the date it was staying around with today being the last day it's here, and um, as you get closer to the building, you see it's a a one tiered building, but it is huge. As like it mimics the castle in its like aesthetical design, as you can see these white stone uh, engraved with various carvings of history all over, and just art. Of uh, fish, leaves, and just people uh, in various stages of uh, their lives, and um, of just all sorts of walks of life, and two giant Kamainu statues guarding the entrance. As I'm going to move you guys to the map, there is also a banner outside oh, mentioning the veneer, um, the veneer exhibit in the art wing. As you can also see these two giant fountains uh, spurting water down on like these layers that go um, that go along the steps. Yeah, Randy, what's a what's a veneer? I, I, I 
country. I don't know. It's a country. Okay. Hey, it's a what? Oh. Thank you. Yes, it it's is. It's a country. I thought yeah, I, I got some sweets like... from there. Well, a oh. sweets from a guy from there. They're very nice. As you know, you some of them house, were lavender uh, flavored. Oh, lavender. Uh, yeah, seems to be a, like a nice little motif. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go to the veneer. <laughs> As oh, like Randall, you there, just... well, just veneer is like a word for like another type of thing too. So that's what I was confused by. Okay, yeah, uh, nah, it's v. Uh, it's like a v a n i e e r. Yeah, um, like veneerian. Yeah. But like you uh, you do recognize the name when Lonely Car reminds you. I was like, you might have sailed there once or twice in your life. You got some good pasta from there. Yeah, I speak it, a little bit. It's the home of, of pasta and pizza. Pasta? Pasta? Yeah. As you see, yeah, these two giant. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it's a thin spaghetti. decorative covering of fine wood applied to a coarser wood. That's oh, what wow. Because I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, like, what is a veneer? <laughs> like, that's what I thought you were asking me. That's what, uh, that's what I wish. I it's a whole exhibit. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Whole like, exhibit on wood hell? lacquering. It's actually yeah. Polly's mom is, like, funding that. <laughs> like, this is the different styles of wood from across the, like, the wood. <laughs> I was like, that's neat. What a strange slash. And what a, yeah. Like, yeah. No, but Venerian would be and... cool too. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I like it. This Anyways. is better. This is better than a wood exhibit. Yeah, you guys can make your way up the steps. Like, and like, it's the steps are quite small, like shallow in like their height to account for Bakoran and Goblin legs. But it's still rather like there are quite a few steps as you go up. And you see a koi fish leap out of the pond from the top tier to the bottom tier as you guys make oh. your way up the platform into uh, to the, the entrance of the museum. As you see uh. these giant uh, lacquered veneered wooden doors uh, that f frame nicely with the, uh, the building. Oh, I'm sorry, Rocky. Uh, since it's a Four Kings uh, exhibit, I don't think there's going to be very many bones. At least the kind we're talking about. And, uh, yeah. I was hoping for, like, some type of fossil or something. Yeah, It'll probably heard, be pretty think, majestical. You think there's, like, dodo birds around these parts? I'm just curious. Or do, are they extinct? Uh, nah, whatever. I'll ask I mean, the like, I haven't seen any in my travels recently, but... <laughs> there's a lot of crazy things in the world. I mean, there were... Wolverines in the forest just now, so I mean, like anything's possible. Yeah, no, I, I figured anything can happen. All right, uh, Rocky he... to avoid awkwardness pretends to be looking at a painting, but it's not really looking at anything. <laughs> no, I mean there is a map. Uh, you can move on if you want. <laughs> it's like you're still like you're still out on the map. But yeah, as you step in, oh, my bad. To... No, worries. I, I you step in. Is... Ah, you're good. As you Rocky step into the building, no worries. As you step oh, in, yes. it's very. <laughs> Although it's rather simple in like its decoration and its displays of like wooden platforms and simple uh, uh, vine and like um, geometric framed um, paintings on the walls and like set of armor, um, the walls have the odd carving here and there of more still life depicting um, Bakoran goblins and just Shrey Leon people. Uh, going about their daily lives as two giant Kamainu statues um, guard the entrance hallway as you step in. And you can also see the paintings around the walls are like, uh, hung up are uh, of varying styles. Most of them are woodblock printings of landscapes of uh, Otani village. Um, I mean, there like was also throughout time and stuff like that, or yeah, exactly throughout time. But like you can like when like you look at them, you can you can almost point out certain areas. As a lot of the the town hasn't changed, and you also see the, uh, displays with books one? on them. The oldest one is this one here. As give me a second. It's always fascinating to see like how far places come. As you um, as you look at it, you can see the oldest the oldest painting is um, called well uh, 
Are you looking for specifically old historically or the oldest in, um, like, event? Uh, like, like, you mean, like, painting of an event or, like, historically? Yeah. Like, like, yeah, I mean, like, the oldest historically, I guess. Yeah, then, like, the one that was painted. The well, there's two, least. then, that catch your eye immediately. Uh, the first is The Sentinel's View by Neo Satoshi Kinto. Uh, a view atop, uh, there's a, pla a placard that notes, a view from atop the Shigoa Reishibu towards Kasakawa Island. It displays the Kamainu Little Sentinel amongst a valley of spider lilies. Um, and like this one is a woodblock, uh, not woodblock printed uh, piece. It's a, a realistic uh, painting with embellished um, patterns using uh, origami cuttings uh, to make the flowers. So it's like kind of 3D too, or? Yeah, it kind of like is like, uh, re not relieved, but like it kind of like comes off the page. Wow. And like you also like when like you're looking around, like you see these books that like uh, actually talk about the paintings and talk about like some of the history and like the techniques used to make make them. If there's any other paintings you guys would like to look at, uh, you can roll a d6 to look at any fancy ones, or you can just look at all of them if you'd like. Roll what was d6. the second oldest one? Sorry, like. Well, the two that like are argued with one another, like in age wise, there is the fallen raven and the ascending red worm. By Ayaka Namura, or Nakamura, sorry. And this is a ukiyo print of Otani being wrapped around by Haru uh, Hakushai, sorry, the red dragon, as he tries to choke the dragon atop a mountain as storm clouds rage around. Holy. Yeah, Randall's just, if anything, like, taken in by that, like, because of how, yeah. like, crazy that is. You also, um... I want to commission this museum's prints. <laughs> well, all of these date, like, uh, from, like, years and, like, centuries ago. And, like, most of them are from, like, uh, past ages. Like, you guys are in a, uh, like, the seventh, I, th I think, like, the 92nd year of the current age. But, like, there's, like, there are ages that go, 198 of the current age. But, like, there's ages that yeah. go for, like, millennia. Like as far as like time exists, uh, like there's like a lot of these paintings that go, that like predate, um, like mechs and, um, like even um, like the capital of Shreleo and such, or the capital of Hideo. But yeah, if you wanna, do you wanna look at all of them uh, going through the list, or do you guys want to just like wander the the museum, as it's fairly empty, as uh, you. Uh, are are we early to meet uh, th this lady, or are we... Is she going to be in here somewhere, you think, Lo? Um, she didn't really give a specific time. Oh, wow. I'm not sure where exactly she is. So. Do you Does want she to leave any her? kind of signs or anything? As you say that, Randall, there is a sign um, hung up from the ceiling. It points to uh, to the left. It's a point art wing with uh, mentions of um, the uh, Kabuki uh, exhibit, the wood uh, work exhibit, the salt steel and uh, metal work exhibit, and then the touring exhibit uh, with a sign uh, that's been like, looks as if like it's been prestigitated onto it, veneer exhibit. And then below that is to the right, history wing, uh, goblin culture, uh, and um, below that is um, technology and alchemy. And then there's also mentions that the alleyways uh, display artwork and history of Otani specifically. And there is also gift shops in both wings. And there's also like uh, a plaque below that that points out to this door that mentions the, um, the, the gardens and current touring exhibit. Um, or featured exhibit, um, the Wisdom Kings to uh, exhibit. Uh, Rocky wants to look at this armor set thing. That is a set of armor that looks to be from the Hinagana period of Shreleo, and it is a red 
garishly painted red splint with like um that's been chinked and broken in several places and it's been just like restored to make it like um sit in place but it still displays the various um uh, assaults that the piece of armor has taken from both magic and weapons and it looks um it's like how uh, a hero hakana from kasakawa and um emika's armor is worn in like these square uh plates but these are also embellished with uh, markings of um like runes carved into them and also paintings of uh, fish as well Did um, you, I... you mention where she'd be? She did not. You could all, if you want to, you can try message her. I shall attempt to do so. Mm -hmm. What does uh, Loniko's ringtone sound like when she's ringing someone? Um. It sounds like her bells ringing, I'd imagine, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just about to. Hey! <laughs> as, <laughs> as it just started ringing. Um, hello, hello, hello. Ow, ow. Um, who is this? Oh, uh, it's yeah. Nico. Oh, excellent. Hello, hello. Is everything okay? Um, it's here. Are you? But you. you know. We just got to the museum. Ah, oh, excellent. Um, I mean, well, I'm 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 currently just looking through the the goblin um, exhibit. But like, I mean, if you want to wander around, uh, we we could do that together, or um, you can do that on your own. I I I, I am in no no rush. Um, I'm just 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 wondering. Okay, um, I'll see what the others want to do, but, um, mm -hmm. I shall see you uh, soon, probably? Yep. I'll be here, I'll probably be here for a, for a while, yeah, so you're all fine. Okay. Do, do you want to say hello as well? Okay. And then it ends. Um... Uh, Miss Hiryu says that she's in the goblin exhibit at the moment, but um, we can take our time if we want and just wander around either by ourselves or with her. She, I think someone else was with her, but I'm not sure who. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm down checking out goblins. I also would like to check out the, uh, the kabuke. Uh, I think that would be pretty neat. Yeah, I'm down to just wander. Mm -hmm. I'm There's sure we can wander with Miss Hero. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll get to the goblins. To the goblins we go. Was it this way? Yeah, we're that that way. one again there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish like you could add like signposts on like Roll Twenty. I think I might mention that to the obvious. devs. Yeah. As you look into this room, you see a platform. The first thing you see is a platform carved out of um, a bunch of people holding up this round ring, a set of cushions, and a little donation box with a placard in front of it that just states... Give me a second as I find my notes. Um, where is it? Oh, Give me a second. The placard notes. If you wish to see a preview of the performance that is currently um, of uh, Goblin Wrestling, uh, please provide an offering. Thank you. And um, you also see two drums on either end of this ring. And a few displays and uh, paintings. Uh, the paintings look very crudely done. Um, but, Lo, what immediately, um, catches your eye once you look away from the ring, in the corner here, 
is the short silhouette of um, Hi uh, Lee Hiroyuni, which I'm going to put on screen. If I, um, if chat hasn't seen the art of the character. Um, but instead of them in their typical uh, fish headdress and ornate shaman uh, robes, they are wearing just a, a simple a kimono um, with a, a, a similar um, clear sh uh, orange uh, sunset -y shawl wrapped around them as their bangles jingle. As uh, they just, she, you hear her just uh, whispering a bit of history towards the silhouette of a tiefling with a very bushy um purple purpley uh white hair in um <laughs> very baggy uh, trousers and pointed a uh, jacket you can just you can hear like her earrings jingle and tinkle as she's just like nodding away just listening it's hearing you <gasps> lo nico as uh she turns and as she starts rushing over to you, she starts jingling as her bells um, <laughs> and her like kind of half jogging. <laughs> so she's probably also jingling. <laughs> it's just, it's a cacophony or ringing in this room right now. <laughs> My God, Michael! Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. It's been stupid. Um, but if I put the headshots on screen as, where are the headshots? There you are. Headshot. Wow. As here you looks extremely happy as she sees you and comes yeah, up to give thanks, you. Thanks, <laughs> As they give you a little uh a little like pat on the face and on the head and then give you a tight motherly hug. As Kira also looks very happy to see you as she just stands there, kinda awkwardly. Um as she just looks at you guys and then walks over. After giving, um, having the hug with Hiryu, she, um, she'll be like, Miss Kira, what are you doing here? Is Kiko here and Katsumi? Oh, yeah, the, uh, I mean, not, not here. Uh, she starts saying very flustered. She looks like she is like, or like she's been like red for a while now. But like, is like, like she's more pink than normal. But then she's like, uh, color is like, uh, l uh, leaving her face. Um, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're just staying back at the, at the hotel. Um, we're just, um, Miss, Miss Hiryu's, uh, asked me to come, um, and so I, so I thought I'd so join you while they, the, the others go, go shopping, um, as she you gives town? you a very little awkward hug. Yeah, no, we're, we're here for a bit, um, not, maybe a day or two, we're not, we're not planning on staying for a while, we're, uh. I I have just come to 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 to, to drop st some something off. Only coach she says like, very embarrassingly. Enthusiastically. <laughs> it's very un. It's very uncharacteristic of her to be like this, like shy and awkward around you. But then she goes back to and then she goes to a, a warm smile. Says, yeah, no, it's it's very nice to see you too. As she looks over you to see uh, Randall. And then gives you a little glare. And then turns to Rocky. And then gives an even more angry glare. Um, Randall, um, this is um, this is Miss Kira. Um, Rocky, I know uh, you have met before. But um, uh, myself and Lo-Fi um, kind of <clears throat> bumped into um, Kira and her sisters again. And we're, we're friends now. <laughs> And she just kind of like, kind of looks between them and is just like, yay! <laughs> and then hey, she just hey. stares you down. Life, life is way too short to have enemies. Uh, uh, Rocky reaches like reaches out for a hug, but doesn't. She wants to reciprocate the hug. She friend of edges very friends of a friend of mine. She edges to you and just like instead of like going into your hug, she kind of like just grabs your arm to shake it. But it's very awkward looking. That works too. Baby steps. <laughs> Baby steps. I'll sh I'll shake her hand to. Uh, yeah. A pleasure to meet you. This is Randy. And she shakes your hand to Randall. It's nice yeah, to meet Randy you too. Is what they call me. Sorry, nice to meet you, Randy. I'm I'm Kira 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 Langaban. And she nice looks at you. you 
Hello? Where, where's where's Tin Man? Uh, he um we ran into some trouble in the forest. Uh, it's a bit complicated. He's kind of gone, but not gone. Um, his spirit's still around. Um, I think he'll come back. It's uh, it's it's just it's been very confusing. We may have fought a god, but um. <laughs> He kind of lives in in all of us, and I, uh, I I gesture to my my arm that has like now like the lavender coloring instead of the blue. Mm. Your yeah, you guys all see uh, Randall's uh, lightning uh, scarring shimmer uh, from like blue and fade into gradients of purple as they uh, coil around him. Uh... Oh. Um... As well, Hiro, you also looks very sad, and then just goes to give you a little squeeze as well, uh, Loniko, when you say mention that. Yeah, he's that's 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 the spirit. And if anything, you can you can converge converse with him, even even if he's uh, gone gone by. And there's always imprinting. Imprinting. Mm-hmm. Oh, I might not. Have, I you might not. Have, um, you might. Not, I there, there's there, there's still quite a bit for you to learn, isn't there? Um, we we can we can walk and talk if you like. Uh, yes, that would that would be good. Mm-hmm. Anything you guys want to see in the goblin uh, room before we we move around, or is a what is um uh, what is I bolt them back. Yeah, yeah, I bolt over that, to uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a uh, Bahia skull. As you, Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it looks neat. I know it is a giant, like that. yeah, a giant um, lizard-like skull. As uh, give me a second as I pull up my notes. Randall, I fought a uh, yeah. No, I actually fought a Bahia on top of a mighty pillar in in the sky at one point. It was a crazy. Don't say. Oh, actually, when I say it's your dad, and then mention the time that you killed one. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a remarkable feat there, uh, Randy. Here he says in a very, like, um... Like, you know when, like, your mom's, like, listening to you and, like, is, like, trying to, like, listen to you and, like, encourage your your thoughts and your your, your passions? Yeah, I'm like, they, like... My mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, she's, like, she's very mummy. Like, but, like... <laughs> Give me a minute, please. <laughs> <laughs> she's very motherly. She's very mommy. <laughs> she's very mommy. Oh boy. Do you have a chicken on your head? I, I apologize. No, oh, she's not wearing. She, she's not wearing that headdress. That's only like the uh. What is? It's a fish. She's I, yeah, ironically yeah. called the fish person thing. Oh yeah, no. Oh, okay, <laughs> she, yeah. But like I didn't it, it like this. I was more talking Kuoto esque. Yeah. In like the uh, like her, she's actually not wearing that like in the museum. She's just wearing like a floral kimono, and like her hair is tied okay. up uh, in a very like regal looking bun of this um, greeny tealy, um, um, long curly wavy hair. But yes, no. The I pointed um, to her bun and yesterday to my bun, like we're twins. Like look, look, look. Yeah, no, yeah, we 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 got the same hair. Got long hair. Maybe maybe I could braid your hair one day. If you'd like. Oh, I'm not going to say no to that. Maybe I could I could try to braid your hair, but I don't think it'll be that fun. Uh, I, know you not for, more than I don't you. think it'll be that fun for you because I've never done that before. That's okay. We can, you, I can teach you. I appreciate As, it. Uh, you're, very, you're very sweet. As far as, as you, you're, attempts you're, go, this is... <laughs> you're a little sweet about too. You're mother. No, no. Oh. Uh-uh. I mean, you could say I'm her teacher. Like, as like they're both like very similar heights. As Kira towers over like, the two of them. You know, like when you actually call your teacher mom, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Kira. <laughs> Kira's like uh, she. I have on a she. I think she's like five seven. I think. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah. Um. You know the Bahir, They um. They were revered by the 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 goblins. And those seeking to um, five eleven, those seeking to um, to ascend into to, to hobgoblinhood, 
they'll uh, they 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 might seek to fight over here, or search for its lightning valleys. This one um, was uh, the trophy of Zorvavet, um a goblin lord from many many years ago. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. What is this staff? That's um, as like the book also like discusses and like shows like various like uh, dis um, illustrations and stuff talking about them. Uh, this is a Kakaguri. I, I can't remember if that's the, how you pronounce that. Uh, as she like shows you her staff that she's holding. It's a it's a similar 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 staff to like this. Uh, they're the same type of staff. This is uh, one that like goblin shaman or druids would would carry. Um, and that's why I carry mine. Because I, I am also a shaman. And that's... Yeah. Hmm. And she smiled at you, Lo. Maybe you'll have one of your own. Oh. oh. Yes, and she just kind of plays with her shams in a bit. Kira just starts banging on the drums just quietly. As she's like just fidgeting. Does Ankira has like her club with her and stuff? No, no, she's just like walking okay. around with her. You, she was walking around with her hands in her pockets, very like um, like she she like puffs her chest out a lot when she would walk, almost as if, like she she just instinctively just just trying to intimidate. Those are some nice beats you're laying down. Thanks. And she just starts. She she like when you encourage her, she becomes a bit more. Are she becomes a bit more enthusiastic. Nah, I just, just, just laying, laying a beat. She just Let me go going. head over to the other one. You want a roll performance? <laughs> As Kira is gonna also roll performance. You know, you two start creating a very um, epic, anthemic little beat that, like, uh, you in incorporate a bunch of syncopated uh, uh, drum beats, and um, while Kira's is very simple and just, like, just carrying a tune, you're adding a rhythm, and oddly a melody, like, not like, like, the, the drums isn't known to be a melodic instrument, but you're adding melodies through the way you're, like, using both the instrument itself and, like, the uh, the wooden like case that like uh, holds it, and or the, I don't know what that would be called, and the skins. You're using everything as an extension of the drum, creating a grand little um, anthemic little um, tune. As Hero is just like uh, shouting over the drumming to you, Rocky. Go the goblins would use um, would use this during their wrestling matches as as ways to hype themselves up and to to welcome entrance into the into the bout oh okay and she smiled watching watching the two play that's cool i'm just dancing over here <laughs> you're a raw performance <laughs> oh, to see how man. well you're dancing <laughs> i do i guess but i'm gonna blow it now after those ones <laughs> oh boy here it comes people are you ready you're ready, kid. Die! <laughs> you're like. Well, yeah. I saw it on the 16. Yeah. It could have been fine. You're doing pretty uh. good. Like you're, like you're, like you're not. It's not the greatest dancing, but like it's kind of like you like just you just you just you're jigging. You're going with it. Yeah, you're, you're having a seventh grade two step. Let's go. You're having a grand time. You're jiggy with it. Yeah, like, as like you look around the room, you can see very slow. Like um, as like uh, you continue playing and looking around, this room just yeah displays various pieces of goblin culture, such as like the pelts that they would have worn, uh, a set of statues of the Shiokar, but like embellished with like lion and like dragon uh, draconic features, and like painted with red marks. Um. Is there any any anywhere you you any 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 specific uh, room you wish to, to have seen? 
we can we can we can wander. I'm not in no we're not in we're no rush. I thought it'd just be nice to see you low. And maybe Go catch up by. Check out that yeah. Here. yeah, as uh, you I, enter. I like the idea of wandering and then maybe ending off with that four kings exhibit. Seems like mm -hmm. a big show. Although some people shop. aren't aren't that hype about it. Yeah. Rocky, you went to the gift shop, yeah. Like there's like a bunch of like sta uh, toy staff oh, no. a dragon uh, <laughs> plushes. Uh, shield car I, statues, I, I... a vending machine, and like a bunch of books and alchemy kits and drums and just other uh, varying uh, bits of like huh. doohickeys oh and gadgets God. around. Who is this cutie over here? Hey. Excuse, this excuse of... me. Uh, uh, pardon me, uh, partner. Uh, partner. You, uh... This, you see a female little goblin uh, woman who's very like, looks like she's very squashed and like stretched. Uh, in this green um, padded bit of armor and uh, flowing uh, jacket with ice white hair just looking at you guys as you uh, look through the gift shop. And she looks at you, Rocky, when you address her. Hey. Um, how would you like to be your own boss? <laughs> Make your own hours? She puts her hand on the cash register, and then you hear a little dink or chink, sorry. Okay. As it opens, and then she closes it again. That's that's impressive. I flex my arm. Uh. <laughs> she starts flexing hers. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah, uh, she's trying I'm to intimidate really you. She's trying to intimidate you. Nah, the, through the padding of the like uh, her armor, it's you can't really tell like her her muscle situation. If anything, it looks like a lot of her movements restricted under the clothing. Okay, <laughs> Rocky you walked away. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have any copies of? Uh, and I'm gonna whisper this one. Uh, fifty scales of gray, would you? Uh, volumes. <laughs> Volumes okay. three to ten, if possible. Hey, Randall, what's head. doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Roll stealth, actually, Randall. No, I Randall knew used it was to go coming. To <laughs> yeah, I, that's true. I mean, like, there were some books on the table. You never know; it could be here. A, yeah, this is a gift shop, though. <laughs> For, uh, yeah, but it, I gotta... <laughs> yeah, but it's a historical book. <laughs> is it? Uh, I missed that part of the way. 27. You know, yeah, you, 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 you're very, you're she very selfie. She's not even the clock. It's... <laughs> she didn't really get it. Yeah, like, she's what like, happened? she beckons with her ear to, like, you get closer. Nothing, never mind. I'll just browse the stock myself. Kira starts also looking at the drums when you're looking at them, Lonika. And here you just goes towards the vending machine and just gets a can of tea. Are these staff, do they work? I mean, well, any staff would yeah. work. It depends what you want to use them for, though. I don't know. Whatever the other one can be used for. I mean, there's whacking, there's what walking. Are these, what are these little, these little like, toys? What are these little blue? And there's little figures? alchemy sets and just, like, vials of, like, liquid. Okay. Just the sorted liquid? Sorted liquid. Are there a register over here? There is another register. I'll say you walk over to that one. Rocky walks over to the other one. They this was a bad room to enter. They walk back in. Is, I didn't know it was just the closest door, right? I, no, I know, but like, because I'm, I don't know, I'm tempted to buy dumb things, Rocky. Like, now that I have let's money. Go, let's go away. Randall, Randall, no, you don't really have money, all right? Randall, let's go back. Randall, let's go back. I mean, now Randall, I think we can't buy. Come on. Randall, I'm Randall, no. Randall, Miss, Randall, Miss, Miss, pretend you don't have much, money. Act like how much are these school. drums? Randall, Randall. <laughs> she puts her hand Randall. up to f to show seven. Seven gold. Mm -hmm. Randall, no, Randall. Okay, well, we'll do it. it. If... We come back, and if you still want them, we'll get them. Okay. No, okay, that that sounds good. If I remember, I'll okay. come back for them. Okay, let's uh, let's go walk around more. We got more to see. 
strap that drum to my back. You want to go into that room below? Mm -hmm. The room up ahead? Is this... Oh, this is an area. It's a big Sorry. room. It is a big room. That is a lot more open than the other rooms. Um, whoa! What is it? A world? As you see a giant whoa. mech head in the middle with a bunch of wiring and just mechanical arms around it that are whirring and moving things around, pulling uh, pieces. Oh, hello. Raid. Catchy oh. cantrips. Oh, thank you, catchy cantrips for the raid. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, as your... As you guys are like looking at uh, at this, you see uh, one of the arms pull out a chip that displays twenty one glowing uh, little uh, extra little like chips that like are like shining crystals, and they all just glitter gold um, before they get put back in place. Uh, by the way, uh, raiders, welcome in. Uh, we're doing a giveaway uh, for the tw uh, second anniversary of Throne Top Sands, my D and D campaign that uh, we're streaming right now. Um, if you want to enter, you just use exclamation mark giveaway. Uh, uh, just make sure you're following to enter. We're giving away uh, art from both me and Sam. Uh, a silver pendant uh, inspired by Lone Nico, one of the characters from the campaign. Um, and a set of merch that's uh, coming from the campaign. Um, that's in, uh, that's from the campaign. And yeah, um, thanks for being here. But yeah, uh, as I was uh, saying, yeah, you see, like, there's that mech, but you also see amongst, in, like, this, this like, the corners of, like, the area near the mech, a bunch of just machinery whirring and going. Um, and in this corner, uh, low that, like, might have taken your attention, you see a little alchemy corner. It's very bare bones in here compared to, like, with the giant mech in one corner, it's rather disjointing and... Um, Jarring coming from the two. Um, if is there anything specific that one that catches any of you guys? Well, random. If I'm being honest, like this is very reminiscent to the prison. I feel like I get like a huge flashback to seeing the mech stuff there, and yeah, Randall's just kind of gonna speed walk to the other door and just kind of wait for everyone. You might have glanced when you walk past that, like, you do see that the mechanical parts are all donated by the Kasakawa Mecha Company, which aye, is aye, aye. Uh, the owners of the factory. And you also might have seen through the corner of your eye, in a display, an ACU unit frozen in can place. I, can I, I want to roll bad on perception is what I want, because I don't want to see it. Go ahead. Rocky helped give him a uh, worse score. Yeah. <laughs> give me disadvantage, yeah. I mean, if you want to try and avoid it. I help. I want to distract. I'm, I'm distracting Randall. It's not purposeful. Good. It's not Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. Brilliant. You roll. Hunt. <laughs> you roll the Oh, there, there you go. Randall, you? Oh, Randall doesn't notice anything. This is, like, he closes his eyes as soon as he steps in the room and, like, upon seeing the mech and then walks to the other side. And he does bump Rocky's into like it a few times. Really hard. Like, look at this. Look at this, Randall. Look, look, look at how big my muscles are. Randall, look. Randall, look. Randall, look at these. That's absolutely look at that fascinating, big Rocky. <laughs> I think about getting this tattoo right here. I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> Monica wants ground. to look at what they're doing with the plants. Mm-hmm. Uh, excuse me a second. I'm just uh, also a reminder, chat, that there are channel point interactions and you gain an extra entry into the giveaway if you use them to help or hinder the party. And um, it's also worth noting that uh, they're tailored to the museum. And also, like, yeah. I was going to say something, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. It just happens. It's, it's, it's been a day. I've had two hours of sleep. It's It's fine. Give me a second. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put the music back on before I continue. Um, as Yeah, Lo, you looking at the uh, table with the plant, you can see it displays a variety of plants you've seen before, but almost like a um, different variant. It's like some of the, the colors on like the leaves and like the markings and patterns on some of them and the flowering is different to what like you recall. And some of them are even like completely new to you. 
as you can see uh, a range of buka bushes and tree variants with mushrooms flowers and fruits uh, and the book mentions how like these were specially cultivated uh, plants that were like grown by Bakoran for the sake of um, Bakoran um, alchemy, which is a sect of alchemy that focused specifically on um, enhancing and enriching the natural elements of uh, what was being transmuted instead of transmuting something for material goals, such as uh, alchemy for like gold. Uh, and you also see just various tools like uh, a uh, Bakoran made centrifuge and like uh, alchemy apparatus here and there and jars that like all give off a very f strange, thick, um, intense fermented smells of like fish and oils of like animals and like plants. Um, but then you also see like a display of like uh, potions and there's also a note saying give give us a try uh, if you'd like to try one. Or you can move on to the next display. Um, she'll probably take a look at, well, I assume uh, Shiseki stones or something on this. Yes. As, like, you you can see out of corner, you're also curious, like, fixed on the, um, on the, uh, what's it called? On the giant, um, mecha, mecha head. As you look at these, uh, this display, which is, uh, various cores of, um, used for uh, mechs and forged uh displaying the various ways of how um they consumed energy and shows uh shiseki stone cores wild magic cores and a forged core chassis showing uh the variations throughout time uh, and like flicking through the book you also see notes about how uh, wild magic cores were uh the initial creation by the Bakoran to defend where their strengths failed uh but like gaining knowledge through nami and the koi fish they they uh, would start delving into biotech, creating stone cores through Shiseki stones, and eventually creating forged magic. And um, here you just like mutters and like like if you if you if you listen, you might be able to get a ripple from them and sense the spirit that's emanating from these cores. Still, they might not be able to do much, but at least they're. Helping guide history. Don't you think? I will try to <laughs> see. You. If you want to roll Arcana for me, can I also see what the kind of core, the kind of core that um, Lo-Fi had? Yes, Lo-Fi. When you recall from when Katsumi opened him up that he had a stone core. But you also know that like his uh, armor and like his umbrella were forged magic, like the forged uh, magic ch uh, chassis that are on this side. That like you see the uh, glitching effect on them as like they um, emanate light and energy. I got a six on my arcana. So. No, worries. you don't feel anything as you try to like drain energy, and like you think for a moment you do, but then you suddenly see uh, that tiny little spirit of Lo-Fi Boy come out of your sleeve, and then just look at the cause as you reach out to them. I think seeing all of this, especially like the plants and the cause, she's just she's. Probably completely ignoring the giant wigging mecha head in the middle of the room yeah. and is just completely absorbed in all of the stuff that just reminds her of Lo-Fi Boy. Mm. Um, especially, and she'll just... She's kind of almost in a daze. She's just going to walk towards the old um, forged and just kind of stand and stare at it. As you get to it, here you comes up to you and reaches for your sleeve and then what's what's this as you jingle uh, on the edge of your sleeves as she reaches out and pulls out the little spear of lo-fi boy it's okay well, uh, she just kind of reaches for it to like get it back and like hold it in her hands as you do you see uh the lo-fi spirit hug 
um, kill you. Oh so, no, sorry. I should I should have asked. It was rude of me. I'm very sorry. Just, I'm very surprised that the spirit was there. And hey, now, now, now that I get to look at it, I'm surprised I didn't I didn't sense it sooner. I was just kind of almost like just overprotective of it and like kind of closes mm. in to herself like when she gets hold of it again yeah and it's are just you kind of yeah. noticing this are you wearing your mask by the way yeah we're out in public so <laughs> mm -hmm. as you do that uh here you will give you back uh lo-fi boy's spirit and um and just gives you a warming smile. It's okay. I, I understand. As it, it's just it, it was only a few days ago. I'm hmm. sorry. Um No, it's okay. It's You you've you've be, you've you've been tasked to protect to protect them and you you do you're doing the you're doing a solid job. Well done. It's it's okay. Miss you what did you mean by um, imprinting? She goes to look at the uh, the ancient forge that you see here on display with like wooden parts meshed with the uh, with the metal. It's um, it's just when sometimes, like even through passing on some spirits might still linger and latch to this world and um and sometimes they might show up and interact and uh because because they've because they've imprinted on you they've a piece of them is with you it's usually not i don't i don't think this is imprinting as uh, she uh, looks down at your sleeve where you see Lo-Fi Boy hiding. But, um... It's, uh, it's when, yeah, when... When maybe someone that you're very close with or that you've, you've spent a lot of time with... Their essence lingers and stays. And and still like acts as it would, if it wasn't in other world. Does that make sense? Yes, uh, but if and she looks down at her sleeve, if this isn't imprinting, then do you, do you know what it is? I uh, as she as she looks down at it. I still, I, when I was holding it, I could feel the the fear and the sadness that they, they that they they once gave me before or showed to me before. That's that's still them. That's not no imprint. That's their their spirit right there. Look after it, okay. She just nods very, very firmly and quickly. And it's like she has a little smile now under her mask, but she's probably standing up a bit straighter, um, a little tense. Mm -hmm. She gives you a little hug again. It's okay. You'll you'll do good. Thank you. This here. And she kind of looks over to Rocky and Randall, who have <laughs> been ignoring everything in this room. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rocky's consoling Randall who's got his eyes closed <laughs> she'll take one last look at the old um mm -hmm. the old um the old mech the old mech um kind of look for where Kira is because that was also the last time she met these two <laughs> people mm. was where these guys were <laughs> Yeah, she's still transfixed on the um, on the big mech, but then she would eventually wander to you guys. And oh, 
It's 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 one of them. Yeah. And she just glares at it. <laughs> I uh, I think we're gonna move on to the next room now, Scare. Mm-hmm. As you hear her just spit on the floor in front of the the mech as she as she leaves. Lou just kind of giggles to herself a little bit. Uh, Ricky, Still Randall. out her chest. Howdy. Thank you for waiting. No worries. Not at all. And then just proceeds to just go through <laughs> the next door. I didn't have a problem with the gift shop. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you have a problem with spending. <laughs> Uh, that's like you step well, that's into why it. I didn't have any money in the first place. Yeah. As you step into the next room, it's similar to like the entrance hall as before, as it shows more artwork on display, and um, and it um and two more Kamanyu statue as like the signs mentioning the history wing, and the um. And the next uh, exhibit being the veneer exhibit through the door. And the gardens through this door with the Wisdom King um, exhibit. Is there anything that you want to look at specifically? Or do you want to see any of the paintings? Hit me up with the oldest painting again in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the old stuff. I want the newest painting. All right. The oldest is The Arrival of the Goblins by Kato Akato, which is a watercolor painting of a grand boat, like the model displayed. Oh, you, you never mind. A grand boat, um, and it shows a horde of Bakoran carrying giant buko leaf umbrellas, awaiting the boat as it rains heavily on the shore. And like this isn't even like a uh, port or anything. It's just like on a hill. And the newest a painting is The Fish's Court by Hirode Moro. A painting with a mix of wooden block details and realistic features. Uh, displaying a meeting amongst the hero of Lord Miroio of Otani during a tense discussion to join the mainland in their conquest of the Hashima Rei. Everyone's expressions are all very detailed and show how every person was in some form of conflict. Hey yeah. Randall, this is uh, a painting. Uh, it, it, it says it's in watercolor, but it, it it has more colors in it than blue, and I don't really think I understand. Do you know why why you think water is blue? Water is blue, but this painting has more. It's in watercolor, but, but it's not just blue. Well, uh, water isn't uh, blue though. It's a type Ooh, of paint. Okay. And it's not Rocky. just clear. What do you? What's up? It's a type of paint. It's a type of paint. As. There's one type of paint, and that's paint. What do you mean there's other types of paint? This doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, but there's something else we need to teach him at the core here. It's the fact that uh, he thinks water is blue. Water is blue? <laughs> Look at the water and tell me it's not blue. Cup some water in your hands and tell me if it's blue. Sometimes it reflects My the, has a blue the sunset. Exactly. Yeah. See, Lo knows what's up. Lo knows that it's reflecting. It's re reflecting what? The Something sky. Blue? Okay, and the sky's blue. So the water's blue. As you, as you say, could you pick, uh, one, pick, one, pick, Rocky, could you pick old or new for me? Old or new? Yeah, just, just old. Old. Sure. As you say that, you hear a sudden crashing of water as, like, you hear, huh? as you see oh, the no. painting you were, the painting you were looking at, um, on this side here of the old, the oldest painting as a no! giant boat comes f swimming out of the painting and crashes in front of you as you feel like this strange uh, almost as if like you stepped into a vision as you can see around you a bunch of Bacor uh, Bacoran um, all suddenly like are like panicking and frantically worrying and the accent and the voices and dialect is strange it doesn't sound um, like it's something's off about it as as you uh, as you listen, for the heal, healing spirit, and Rinson. Mm -hmm. As one of Are the Bakoran, seeing this, yeah, you're all seeing this. As like 
one of them taps you, Rocky, and Wait. starts speaking. It was sound like gibberish. Actually, who speaks ancient she in here? I think uh, I do. I think you do low as well. Uh, Rocky yes, does. Yes, I, I do. Rocky does. Do you Rocky say? Does. Uh, actually, yeah. you hear you you to you, uh, uh, Randall. It sounds like Simlish, but like to Rocky and uh, Low Nico, as this one pats you on the shoulder or taps you on the knee, uh, Rocky. I say quite small, um, a lot smaller than the normal Bakoran of uh, the current age. Um, they say, "Oh no! Look, what if they crash? Quick, we 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 got we got to, we got to do something. Get get some nets, quick!" As they shout at you and sh start shaking you, and as they all start pushing in different directions, as the w the waves crash, as the boat comes closer and closer, uh, and then eventually smashes into the port. Rocky, how do you react? Uh, well, not uh, port, sorry, into the hill. So this is. So wait, it's. Yeah, this is just a sudden vision you've had. This is the painting is doing this, or it's in the room. Oh, this is a sudden in vision. The, I it's had. it's um, you're not you oh, like you don't even feel uh, like you're in the room anymore. Like you feel like this is like all like around you. You feel like you're in. Okay. Like as you, what you were staring at the painting for a moment, and then suddenly you're there. It's as if the oh, painting I has come like to life. I don't like boats appearing out of nowhere. I also I already killed myself. I'm gonna subtract that. Oh, um, nerds. But uh, uh, I I I I I don't. <laughs> Rocky is so confused. So they're asking for me to get a net right now. As what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Rocky and I was like, "Where's the net?" Well, I, and I have you, a rope. I, I'm. I'm just gonna open this door to the courtyard and just yell. You can't. You we don't, need you don't a see. net in here. You can't because you're not in the room anymore. This you feel like you're. Oh right, right motherfuck! You guys feel like you're in the painting. I just I need a desperate. Net. As net. like, uh, as you two start panicking, the room suddenly floods back in on itself as the waves crash over themselves, revealing the room. And you open the door. Uh, in as you like do that, revealing a uh. garden. What the hell is this museum on? Hey, uh, 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 shaman lady. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you know what that was? Well, what was? <laughs> uh, so I, I was like, I had a weird vision that I was on a boat and they were asking for a net and I don't know any of net and, um, It sure is an immersive museum. Is that, is that what that was? Like, is that maybe, my own thing? Maybe you were just... Covered? Maybe you all just got really uh, invested in in the in the story of the painting. Yeah, no, like, that sometimes happens. I've read, 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 read fifty scales of gray. I've been immersed into a story. Okay, that. As you say, <laughs> that Kira goes very red. I've and, been around uh, the most red. Oh wait, <laughs> Hiryu gives you a very like playful little look when you say that. Randall, what is this book you keep talking about? Don't worry it's about nothing it. Nothing low. <laughs> Mm, Miss Primera no. used to say that about we'll you when you're older. too. <laughs> Anyways, so we, we, well, she was a connoisseur also, apparently. Listen, we live in a world with magic. We live in a world where things, funky things happen. Do not dismiss me when I say I get sucked into a painting. All right, and I don't mean in some type of figurative sense. I don't mean in type of, some type of way that I, I, I'm just so immersed, like I've read some really clever book, Fifty Scales of Grey, or whatever you want to call it. No, this is a, a, a new kind of way. I, I saw people. I, Felt the breeze of the wind. All right. As you say that, you look back at the painting and you see another Bakoran just like smile at you. As you see a little spirit push out of the painting and circle around you, gifting you a chai inspiration. I was about to be like, if it takes me to this goddamn boat again, it's <laughs> so bad. <laughs> come on, back. I, I, I want to know how I did that because I want to go back. I want to finish. I want to give him that net. I feel so. <laughs> crazy. Want... You don't have a I'll... net on you. They you? have nets on the boat, I'm sure. I don't have one on me, but well, I'm sure I not, one He the... was desperately looking for one. I think he would have grabbed one if he had one. But I feel like I was like a helping hand and he was busy doing Look, something if we else. Find like... a net, if we find a net around here, we'll come back to the painting. Just like we'll come back to the gift shop. Rocky was there a was net in the gift around. shop? Rocky was to look around and secretly touch the painting. <laughs> yeah, you touch it. like As you touch it, you, you hear an alarm blare. Okay, walk away. <laughs> we'll blame it on low because they won't get mad at a kid. Huh? I'll take Nothing. The blame low, on low. You hear footsteps coming from this oh, door. God, okay, okay, low. Just to, okay, low. We're gonna tell them it was you because uh, you're you don't know any better. You're a kid. Uh, okay. Should, Kira starts pushing you uh, out the door, low. Hey, okay, you, no, you, you, you stop! You stop! You stop! You you don't don't you tell her. 
that like she's gonna get the blame for you. Well, okay, it's just that logically, they're if if they know it was us, they're gonna get all mad because we're adults. We know better. Uh, Here, I'll talk to them. We know better. Randall, 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 well, not I'll all of us are adults. Clearly, some of us are stupid and childish. It. Okay. Well, hello. That's not nice. Where, where are they coming so from? Rude about it. I hear a I hear a door somewhere. Where Where is that at? Yeah, this footsteps they're, coming. They're coming through a door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got it. <laughs> what the hell did I just see? Whoa! I just saw the weave for a second. As like what was that? Kira is just glaring at you, Randall. As oh, Harry just goes like, as steps by the painting and just holds her hand out towards it. We gotta get that from no. the gift shop first. As Yuki says, "No, no, stop! You're gonna go to jail." Yuki says in your head. Oh my. God. You don't want to go. No, to jail, I'll tell you, you really don't. Actually, there is no jail right now, so it would probably be fine. As, as you guys are panicking as this is all happening, you hear a stone grumble. As this Kamainu here turns and looks down at you all, as it comes Ooh. to life. Howdy, I don't think my I name like is... this room anymore. This room is too much! And it yeah, gets up leave. off its platform. Could you roll me a deck save? No, I can't. You can't. <laughs> uh... Sure. Okay, well, it's a big fat 21. Why do I. I will. Yeah, I'll take my minutes. Just use my seven, I guess. I'll, I'll you, you got your channel for inspiration if you'd like. I'm aware. I, sure, I'll use it. Why not? Low, you want to use your, uh, your deck save for me, please? I clicked it and it's just not rolling. <laughs> Hot <Okay>. damn! <laughs> hey. As you, Lo, you, like, yeah, you're, like, you're, you just immediately just plasty yourself to the wall and touch the painting as you do this. As, uh, Rocky, um, are you using the 18, sorry? Yeah, I got an 18. Yep. As you get that, uh, little spirit, uh, help, you feel it push you and you dash to the side as well as the Kamainu leaps off the platform. Platform, sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. As Hiryu drops to the ground from the shake and the quake, and she uh, looks very flustered as the entire as the Kamainu leaps off the platform. And Randall, you're you and Kira both uh, dash to the side. Still like kind, of, she's like, are you like, how are you uh, in like in that confrontation with her, uh, Randall? I'm like, we're like getting kind of into it, but in that moment when like we have to get out of the way, we just like together just move in unison yeah. like we're in sync. Yeah, she like completely drops uh, for a moment and then like also reaches down to like try and like protect um, Hear You as the coin leaps down and goes to block the door and just guards it as it stares down at you all. Which door is it blocking? Pardon? Which door is it blocking? This one. The one that had the footsteps coming from as you hear <laughs> I'm sorry, banging. I okay. No, <laughs> bless you. As you hear banging from the other side of the door. Hey! Open up! I think we should go to the next room. As you can redact that you don't hear voices. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, you, don't, you, don't, you just hear banging against the door. Alright, well, yeah. moving on. <laughs> Run out of here as fast as possible. Didn't do anything. But if, if uh, like I said, if it does come to it, it was low. <coughs> Not for malicious intent, Kira. Just because <laughs> logically they bl they can't blame a child. As like she goes to say something, Hiryu says, it's okay, don't leave it. It's okay. It'll be fine. As you look around this room now, displaying a bunch of diff very unique styled paintings. And everything here looks very outlandish from what you've seen in Shirelio before. As you see weapons, armor, and giant statues that like are fashioning clothing that you've never, like that are very different. You might have recognized some of the clothing, 
uh, worn by some of the statues as that of that you've seen in Kedic's threads, but like everything is so strange and different in this room compared to everything as you enter the veneer exhibit. Is there anything that uh, takes your eyes? Immediately, like, Randall rushes over to the dragon heads. <laughs> mm-hmm. Would you like to read uh, the book on the dragon's heads, or are you just picking it up or having a look-see? Uh, yeah, I, I absolutely would like to read, yeah. Yeah, as you, as you give it a read, um, the dragon head is just, uh, it comments on how, like, this table is, uh, displays a taxidermied black young dragon head and the skull of a kobold and a hill giant. Uh, displaying diagrams of creatures and even more uh, monsters from sh the the shores of Shreleo. And when you like look at the dragons, uh, they look very different to like the ones you've seen depicted in the art uh, around the world, um, around Shreleo. Sorry, I'm probably more familiar with with these. Yeah, these these these. Well, if anything, yeah, they're 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 familiar to you. These are my ancestors in a way. It's crazy. I guess not necessarily. These are from Venerian, but uh, it's probably all the same kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, I'll just keep vibing with this one. Yeah. No worries. You, as you like, you look in this exhibit. You can see the walls are adorned with glittering leaves coated in metal. Uh, with a note that mentions that they're mimicking the decorative styling of metal-coated leaves that the continent of uh, Veneer is known for. Um, that are, are said to be the um, metals and minerals of the old world before the Strya, the star gods of Veneer, destroyed um, the old world to create a new. As low as you're like looking at this table full of just random assorted treasures you see a little crystal red eye glint as a little spirit pushes off it and rushes to you gifting you uh, a chat inspiration Ooh. anything else in this room that's of interest uh the uh, the three statues in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, I take a note of those for sure. Are they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's this note there... there's notes of on all Perfect. three. Uh, the first is a st woman of stone covered. Uh, her face doesn't have much details, but you do notice she has fangs in her mouth, and it notes. Okay. Uh, Mark her mother as she's covered in a plethora of uh, very a variety of color of shawls. The founder of the Shadow Dancers, a movement of monks who followed vampires and were believed to have been lost to time. But through the efforts of a master disciple of the order, master of plume, master of a master and disciple of the order, master of plume and scriber, they would bring order back into the order back into relevancy as they dismantled the moon court uh, and the tyranny of Veneer. The second is of a handsome man with all his features are very evidently uh, visible, but like a lot of the statue has also weathered away by time. Um, king Solomon and a, a depiction of the legendary king of Veneer who had found the kingdom of Veneer through the bonding with a gold dragon, Akarath Harag, a handsome man with flowing long hair and wearing armor depicting a dragon and elk. Carrying a sword that has a dragon spreading its wings in its hand, dragon whistle, and in the other, a lavender, a symbol of death and everlasting mourning. Uh, Lo, could you roll me? Actually, you don't need to roll anything, as when you look at the statue, you. Give me a second. As when you look at the statue, you feel um, like you recognize the face. Um, if you want to roll me a history check, uh, as you like, feel like you can just something about their face is flashing through your head. Oh. Or you, you, and then it, 
it comes as clear as day to you as uh, the person selling you the lavender flavored venerian delights um, has the same face as them. And the third statue is Avode, the Lord of the Twilight Tower and the Star of Death. Uh, the goddess of death and one of the three leading gods of the Strya religion. She is depicted as a skeleton with jeweled chains and rings strewn through her ribcage as she wears a cape like that of the night sky. Uh, sorry, what was the sword of the, the second guy again? A uh, dragon whistle. Dragon whistle. Uh, can... Can I roll, like, history on that specifically to see if I know anything about that? Sure, roll, roll history from... Or does it, like, does it say anything about that specifically in the notes? Of the, uh, the, the statue on? There is, like, if you looked through all of the notes, there is another mention of Dragon Whistle. Uh, with this great sword over here. If it's you okay over there, for sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, yeah, like, there's also this. in, like, in the books that you see... Um, there's also like uh, dis I'll, I'll mention the books in a second but yeah when you look at the, the sword there um, that depicts the uh, a sword that was used by a king of the Ande bloodline after Dragon Whistle was lost to time uh, this lost sword uh, mm -hmm. it depicts the family her heraldry of a dragon wrapped in uh, wrapped around a bushel of lavenders and forget-me-nots um, and like if you like skim through some of the books there are also mentions of like the search for dragon whistle um but no it hasn't no no as uh through what you look you don't seem to find anything conclusive but you also find a bunch of cookbooks on uh making a bunch of venerian food um combat guides and uh, stuff on their studies of magic and uh and even myths and folklore of the land it probably would have been lost somewhere in veneer then i imagine like like, the Veneer and, and Trelao don't really have, like, a, a lot of history together, or do they? There isn't much history of uh, that the, the two cultures cross over. I'll put Dragon Whistle in my notes. It's maybe a thing for later, but... Nico's just staring up at the statue like, I think this guy sold me sweets. What? Um... I'm, now you're sounding I'm, like Rocky. I'm sure What's it's it? uh, nothing. <laughs> She's just gonna go over and look at some other things. Was he just That's like weird. a normal guy, or did he give you weird vibes? He seemed pretty normal, I think. Go talk to strangers, Lonico. Yeah, really. What do we? We, we should. We be had a more, stall. <laughs> okay, well that's. He was a okay, legitimate a salesperson. Okay. Did you see him? What happened? I I went shopping with Lo-Fi Boy in, in Isotope. And oh, I got some sweets. Okay. Kira looks at that? the statue for a second as well. Hey, no, I I think what well, what were they selling? It was it was those little like jelly jelly sweets, right? Uh yeah, they like tasted of lavender and Yeah, no, yeah, no. I think there were the... some hot candies too. I'm very certain I've I've seen I've seen this guy's face. You calling me a liar? As she turned to Rocky and Randall. Look, you you're didn't very. Say I get anything it. After you, dude. All right. Yeah, I you're very confrontational. Out. I get it. But like, I've, you calling I've, me confrontational? I've gave, out an olive, I've gave out an olive branch. I didn't even say anything. Kira? You just said what you said, and then you're you were literally like, hey, you're calling us a liar. We did nothing, Kira. All right. You're literally getting confrontational about me calling you confrontational. Listen, I think you got a big ego thing that you got to work out, and that is not on us. I see you puffing your chest up. It's all an act. It's a tough person act. She no, just like comes from insecurity. Once again, as she goes to speak, Kira, you stop, sir. Kira? Fine. She goes away look, back to looking at some cookbooks. I'm just a friend. And just a smiling face. You know, you're, you're just coming at me. Anyway. 
What's in the paintings of this room? Mm -hmm. Would you like to look at all of them, or uh, would you want something specifically to catch your eye? Um, I mean, she's probably just looking how long she wanders around. No worries. All right, let's go around the room then. Uh, the first <laughs> is The King of the Stars by Belladon Archaeus. A painting in the medium of oils in a realistic style, depicting a King Solomon with golden hair and eyes placing a crown. Uh, placing a crown made of stars atop his head against a backdrop of the nice uh, sky and sea. Um, when you look at the painting, the face doesn't look like that of uh, the statues at all. Um, the features are not nearly as sharp or as um, piercing as the statues is. The second is The Mystic's War by Xavier Baron. A acrylic painting with the magical properties that make the colours swirl with one another slowly. It depicts an army of men and elves battling shadows in a forest. Uh, I'm just going to put some music back on. Just give me a second. While you're doing that. Uh, mm -hmm. However many paintings there are in this whole museum, I need I need the community to come together. This is a, <laughs> Sam, a Sam planned event here. Uh, we are all going to do one of these pieces. Because, like, the, all of these sound so goddamn cool that I just, like, need to see them. I'm very so if they glad. were all in different I, styles and stuff like that, too, like, that would be awesome. I have one that is, like, an actual painting. We'll get to that one in a second, though. Uh, three is The Royal Family by Ella Alton. A portrait of a family of six, consisting of King Keelan and Day. Queen Elaine and Day, and the Princess Anda, Eldon, and Princess Salama. The King and Queen standing behind the three children sing on the throne. 4. Dragon Whistle by Aravain Sirith. A somewhat surreal piece depicting a beautiful sword held skyward with, while gold dragons fly through the sky. It looks like the uh, sword that the statue holds. Mm -hmm. The next... The Treaty at the Lance by Ella Altanas again. A landscape piece of King Solomon and the Emperor Adrian Salavan shaking at Agwan's lance, ending the Salavan Civil War. Uh, the Salavan, uh, it, there's a note that the Salavan were the elves of Vanir and uh, were their variation that like evolved from their homeland. Six, which I, which is the one I've done a painting of. Uh, Starfall by Girik Faith. A minimalist piece of six silhouettes standing on a white background with a red falling star in the sky, depicting the lost Prince Eric founding of the Royfall. And seven, Long Live the King by Mathis Dowen. A landscape piece in oil with summer colours, it depicts Prince Keelan scattering the ashes of Solomon through Ash Forest with dragon whistle at the prince's feet. all of this i'm trying to be so normal <laughs> i can't believe you're doing this to me me just giving a bunch of self-indulgent shit that georgia <laughs> only gets because she played in the campaign i'm gonna fucking cry <laughs> wait what this is uh to pull over the curtain away for a second veneer is like the setting of my first uh two campaigns and this is the history of that like dragon and scribe was a part of it yeah, Dragon Whistle, like, Dragon Whistle, not a, not a pull away, but Dragon Whistle may be uh, in someone's hands in the West Marches. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Who am I going to have to kill? Who is Raph going to have to burn? But also, um, but yeah, no, like, I mean, the Scriber, as mentioned, Sue has Dragon Whistle. Man. No! <laughs> no! I couldn't do it. I like he's got a note <laughs> in his fucking oh notes God, in his private cool. notes. Find dragon whistle. <laughs> <laughs> oh crossover. I mean, well, they, they <laughs> crossover. So. Oh, I literally almost started crying when you mentioned Keelan eyes. I'm trying to be so normal. <laughs> I can. Roval, if you're here right now, man. Donate it, please, to the museum. <laughs> 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 
Next and donations. time we're in a session, if Raph has, if Raph is suddenly trying to shashek a sword from you for no reason, <laughs> this is the reason. He gets possessed by the spirit of a random dragon ball. Raph, you are not going to burn anything this session. You're going to be a good boy. You're going to be like, hey, can I get a sword for being so good? <laughs> can it be your sword? <laughs> I'll trade you. Oh, my girl Scriber, bring it back her vampire cult thing. <laughs> it's not a cult. We, there's, there's a lot of lore that we, we put into that, but like, I've not got anywhere. Like, I read, I read the Shadow Dancer lore with Georgia, like, when we first met. And like, I've n there's no like the only place it, the hit that is like archived is our Facebook chats from when we met. Hey, you you, you did it, Dragonborn. You got the healing. As like you hey, look at Dragon Whistle, heal. you see a dragon push out of the sword uh, from the painting and fly towards you, uh, Randall, and circle around you, landing on your shoulder, and gifts you the uh, healing spirit. As if you could roll a uh, d10 for me, uh, Baron. But yeah, sorry, if you guys want to return back to the session after, and I can show you the notes for the museum, because I fucking went in on this shit at, like, 2am. I can day. tell. No, that's the thing, because, like, I want, like, I would love to to read all of them, and then I'd do at least but, a couple of them. Funnily enough, this... Over the key lens stuff oh, thank, thank you, I'll, I'll take it, again. Baron. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Funnily <laughs> enough, the, uh, the veneer stuff is actually from my veneer museum in like that campaign it's like a I'll, I'll i'll show you guys after the session and maybe we'll look at it uh, on uh on stream or in 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 the vibe in two one day but yeah so if you guys want to continue we can cool what else is in the painting <laughs> did we go through all of those you've gone through all the paintings that are in this room okay I'm gonna go depicting the venerian before, history before georgia has starts crying <laughs> Are they, are they, like even all these ones are like like down down this, this hallway. We've even got, like been told these ones. This is a uh, part of the uh, Isito uh, history. Oh, but like this one, uh, not Isito, sorry, Otani, and this one um, shows various an another set of like woodblock printings and stuff. And some of them are similar to the ones you've seen before, but the ones that like are new to you are as followed. If you'd like to go through all of them. Yep. Uh, you saw the fish's court, the sentinel's view, the arrival of the goblins. Uh, but there was watery steps by Ikeda. An ink painting of a Bakoran child leaping off and playing with a group of koi fish as they read a book. And you see the koi fish in the painting move and swim as the child flicks through the pages. As it's been charmed as well. And the one that's the newest one that like is the most daunting and just like kind of causes all you to stop for a moment is the King of the Sea by Io Watanabe. Of a dark, murky ocean with the silhouette of a giant koi fish that dwarfs a tiny boat floating on the surface. As you can see, markings of crowns in the koi fish's uh, scales through the murk. See, like, that shit? I want to fucking, like, see that. That sounds so goddamn cool. Ah! <laughs> I'm, like, amazed. I'm you... Randall is, like, just, like... <sighs> you know that scene of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, everyone who's seen that movie? Probably never seen it anymore. I need, God I need damn to. it! I know. So there's a scene where they go to the museum... And, like, Cameron is just, like, looking into one painting. It's, one, I don't know, it's a famous one. And he just keeps cutting between him and the painting, and he just is having, like, an existential crisis. Like, that's what I feel like is happening. I put the painting in, uh, in out of context. Is and let's get to, yeah, if you want to get to the oh next room. Like, oh, I've cool. seen that one. That's so yeah. cool. I'll show you guys chat if you guys would like to see. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to... Pull the tab over so that, like, it can do. Can you like uh, describe the painting in, in the way that you did while I, while I have it up here? <laughs> sure. Sounds weird. <laughs> nah, that's cool. Uh, where are we? Uh, Starfall. Uh, if I can find my notes for that quickly. Because like, um, holy. A minimalist piece of six, but uh, redacted to five silhouettes. 
standing on a white background with a red falling star in the sky, depicting the prin- the lost prince Eric founding of Doris- uh, Doris Fall. I like want this. I feel like I would be I'd be pretentious if I had this like in my house, but like this is like really cool. Yeah, no, I was very proud when I made that. I, I'll, I'll level with you. It was when I like first was playing with acrylic paints. <laughs> Funnily enough. Uh, but do you want me to describe the next room? Like, it's so good! Thank you. God! Um, this next exhibit you see is folk and local art. As this one section is very cluttered compared to the rest of the museum, you notice. As you can see a plaque mentioning that this is curated by Eno Hart. As you notice, there's a lot of wood uh, furnishing, sculptures, and just decoration around the place. Um, do you want me to just go through everything? <laughs> it's like you look around the room. Or would you like to look, pick uh, anything specific? Oh my specific? god, it's an airship! Jesus! That's actually a boat. And that's when you look at that boat, you recognize it immediately as the boat that the goblin sailed in on. Rocky! Okay. In the painting. Over here on the left, I'm over here. Oh, oh. Follow my voice. Oh. Do you think it still work? Oh, do you recognize it? Uh, it's from the, the, the painting, right? Yeah. There is a plaque underneath of it being a replica of the, uh, the red dragon, the boat that the goblin sailed on. Did they find their net? Let's see. Let's read. A, let's read ahead. There's no mention. It's just like talking about like how like the it goes into detail about the model and the uh, plight of the goblins when they fled their home uh, of Halagis when they came to Shreleo and sailed I know for, that vibe. for months and years. Oh yeah. And what, what about these uh, glowing crystals over here? Or mushrooms? What are these? When you get to that section, that is the salt steel and uh, uh, scale mail uh, display. As if I pull my notes. Uh, this shows the salt steel weapons. Uh, on the, as you look through the book. Uh, here display a set of katana made of steel in varying degrees of color. From pure white, ice white, dark blue. Uh, and dark blue, sorry, with glittering crystal ripples folded into two of the swords and the last coated in the salt. Uh, the book notates on how these weapons were crafted by the smiths of the salt steel factories that are found in the south of uh, Otani, uh, learned from knowledge passed down by the koi fish from gathering knowledge from far reaches of the world. Um, and also there's like a little uh, author's note of how there's hopes that one day they'll be able to fold forged magic with salted steel. As as you guys are looking at the salt steel, one of the armors starts shaking uh, as you hear chinkling of scales as one of the armors glittering in this iridescent perline scales um, gets up off itself and prepares to almost like fight you, reaching for the salt steel armor hey, hey, whoa, buddy. as it reaches towards you to fight. And then as it gets off its stand, it collapses and crashes to the ground. As it isn't, it's got no rigid uh, underneath the uh, the display it was on. Uh, and where can the it, end the set? Uh, not in the session. Does sorry. It, does an sorry, alarm go start going or anything like that when no, that happens? No, or? no alarm goes off that time. As the uh, we're gonna take a quick break there, if that's okay with you. We're gonna be about five uh, minutes, and then no we're gonna worries. come back into the final half of the session. If that's okay with everyone. All right, see you guys in a hot second. Bye.
<laughs> they heard you laugh, Georgia. <laughs> Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back. Um, I'm going to get the playlist going back again, just so it keeps looping properly. But yeah, uh, you guys uh, looking in this room, yeah, like there's uh, the salt, that bit of scale male armor just collapses and crashes to the ground, Randall, as you run away from it. And Rocky, you just see it fall to the ground and like not fall apart, but like just strewn its pieces around the room. As it's one of the smaller uh pieces set of armor. This one looks huge compared to you, by oh, the way. Worth though, man, I, I would steal it. Yeah, and this is there's like this one looks a reg average size. This is like a uh, like a Goliath's, while this is a Bakoran's a set of scale armor. Okay. As like as you look at the scale armor, like it's the note that mentions uh how like this is ar uh, armor crafted by both smiths and tailors. A weaving shedded scales of ascended koi into armor to create shimmering, um, shimmering plate that was worn by Bakoran and Goblin forces of the Hyden army, and those of Otani and Kasakawa, uh, before they joined the mainland. Uh, this is an art of falling out of favor due to how laborious the process is and how magic is able to like, uh, just be a lot more effective than the armor uh, was in its prime. Anything uh, of note that you uh, uh, want to look at, Lonika, as you look in the wood work section? Um, I guess if there's any like religious kind of stuff. Mm. Are you um, mm -hmm. as you like look at like the statues and stuff, like you can obviously you can see these giant replicas of uh, the Nami Gate, um, 
that like bridge that are part of Otani's uh, uh, skyline or silhouette. Uh, but you also see a statue of uh, Sheehan carved into the into the um, into one into one of the corners amongst like uh, a Kamainu and other um, other pieces here and there. And like as you look at the Sheehan uh, statue, you can see uh, detailed carved into the clothing uh that like from afar would look like just uh, the fabric but when you look closer it looks almost like um the um like uh the myth mythology of shreleo depicted through through the carvings as kira is looking around as well at all um just so much she like is fixated as she looks at the sheen one for a second i'm gonna bring her down here and here you is with you as she, like she looks around other stuff with you as well though and you see this section of like um, black wood block prints and uh, the prints, them, uh, like the prints themselves, are depicting various bits of landscape portraits and like scenery and like um, celebrities of Australia amongst some collectors' trading cards and stuff like that. And you can see just various uh, myths of uh, the more mythology of Australia uh, in art form printed um, in this section. Do I recognize any of the celebrities? <laughs> <laughs> there is a few celebrities that you recognize as musicians that you uh, you idolize, uh, Lo. But you also um, let's see what I was gonna say. You see one of the um. One of the celebrities is a, looks to be like very newly printed uh, piece, and it is that of um, Emika amongst like the military uh, prints. Mm. It looks to be the newest of the entire of all the sets. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, and uh, one of the one of the prints you see is of uh, the um, the S pop group uh, B B S T. Yeah, that's one of the Boo. groups. Shut mm -hmm. up! It's not my that's fault. Just glowing yeah. stuff. That is salt yeah. steel. That's just like bits of salt steel uh, minerals uh, that are on display. Don't don't fuck with it. That's what caused that, that's what caused the other thing to happen. <laughs> Uh, is is there a sign that says "Don't touch" on these chairs or anything like that? There it is. Yeah, don't sit, please. Okay. This, oh, that said sit specifically. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna hover above it. I'm not gonna like fully sit. I'm gonna hover. <laughs> you wanna pull out your wings? Right. What are you... No, I don't want to waste that right now. Just. <laughs> Do you wanna try and like find a way to you can like precariously hold yourself over the throne? Because if yeah, you want yeah. to, you oh, can well, roll athletics. Yeah, yeah, like just gonna like, what do they call that? That that move, just like the the sitting against the wall thing. But you're like, you're squatting, sitting, <laughs> sitting. <laughs> wall, wall uh, yeah, sitting I'll just, called, I'll just but... squat. Go, yeah, squatting, yeah. Athletics or acrobatics? Okay, let's do acrobatics. Yeah, no, yeah, you have to do, like, a ghost squat. And it looks like you're sitting on it, and I like, carry you, and, like, Rocky are both, like, wait, Rocky, get off. Stop. And then, I mean, oh, Rocky, sorry, Randall, stop. Uh, Randy, she says, as uh, when they get close, they realize that you're not even, like, near it. You've created an optical illusion with yourself. You made it look like you were, you pranked him. <laughs> Pretty impressive sometimes. <laughs> Get, get a good perspective shot of this one. It's going to look like this one day. I fucking uh, choked, Sam. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I went to go sip some fucking water and you just go and say that, mate. Oh, fucking hell. I couldn't even laugh because it was just like what, the, through the entire length of my throat just then. <laughs> what? The, I'm pretty impressive? Yeah, like it, it, it got me. <laughs> oh, oh no, I... pretty impressive. Well, there's another gift shop through. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> As this gift shop displays, uh, as you step in, Lonika, you can see like little like figures of like the armor, uh, clothing and like prints and like books, 
and just all sorts and like a little no. tiny section displaying a veneer um veneer memor not memorabilia but like um souvenirs and a little vending machine in the corner <laughs> are these action figures they yeah the little action figures of like samurai i like... need a red and a blue Randall. Randall. no no you can't stop me this is a better pickup than the drum Sure. As you see, I will note there was also a guard in Breathe here as well. A <laughs> Breathe a second before making a purchase. Not only is there a guard in here, it's the exact same guard. Exact same guard. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's. You got like a trap door under there or something? How'd you get here? She just glares what at if you. There's like people in the shop at the same time. What if there's like someone in the other shop? Hey, can you she help just me glares over at here? you. Hey, can you help me over here? Me? <laughs> nah, definitely. She nah, pulls out her sword when you keep running. Whoa, okay, okay. Whoa, relax. I pull out my sword. Don't pull out your sword. Put that away. I put it away. <laughs> and don't pull out your wallet, all right? She points at the, at the figures, figures. With, and she signals seven once more. Each? Nods. Ah. I put the blue one down. Here you starts looking through the books. As Kira, like, you see her in the corner, just like looking at one of the dresses. But when she notices you guys looking at her, she stops. Do you want me and to buy that for you? you? She goes red again and then just <laughs> glares at you. She just got money. Randall, you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you use money to get what you want. So there you go. Lord, I'll t I'll take so this. Things. I'll <clears throat> take this blue. This blue. Or sorry, I'll take this red figure, please. It'd be nice to get a veneer cookbook. Um, here you says as she picks up one. I could try this pasta. You want to pick up a red one? Yeah, detracting seven gold. As she gets uh, behind you as well, uh, here you also uh, gets pointed seven at uh, by the uh, the goblin, and she pays the seven gold. And you hear the cash register dink a tw chink a twice. As you both pay up, so sad. and she starts flicking through the uh, through her cookbook. As you now have a red samurai figure. Hell yeah. I just start moving his arms in like an attack attack motion. Like, look at this Rocky. Full function yeah, full attack at function. I like it. It's got a w it's got a little cutting action if you like press a button on the back. Chop! Are there chop, any, like, chop! Any like plushies here? There are no plushies in this room. There were plushies in the other one. I think there was a dragon plushie. There was oh, a yeah, dragon, was. a red yeah, dragon. Okay. You didn't want it then, did you? I bet it cost seven gold, and you're gonna get all up in in my. I'm getting it for it. I'm getting it for peaches. All right. I will also oh, not. You yeah, also okay. see a bunch of prints on display in this section, and they are the prints that you saw, um, like on display around the entire like uh, museum. If you guys wanted to buy any. Uh, as Randall, could you roll me a D hundred and then okay. a D twenty, please? Oh dear God, Rovo! <laughs> I'll take that as a no to the sword thing. What about the sword? Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, well, uh, just that roll was, isn't going to give me the sword. Uh, sorry, a D one hundred and then a D twenty. Yeah. Okay. Fifty one and two. As sorry, sorry for what's ever about to happen here, folks. You all s s hear a pulse uh, blow off of uh, Randall. As Randall? suddenly you see the plants in the corner just wilt and die. And Lo and Rocky, you both feel like you've drained of all magic. As Randa has become an anti-magic field. 
and the plants die around him as like they are being sapped of their magic. Randall, what the heck? Why would you do I that? am so sorry. I, I it, as it might have been the action figure. I don't know. As that happens, the pulse pushes off through the room, and as it pushes, you see the hobgoblin's figure melt away, as if like it's what? a cracking crystal. Yeah, just as it gets like all super super suspenseful. But yeah, as like um, dude, no as like yeah, your anti magic field yeah, pushes, real. as your anti magic surge pushes off, it reveals a crystal a crystalline skeletal guard standing in place, and then it just looks at you as if nothing's happened. Right, um, Randall, why did you do this? Loki Coco is very still after being very tired from <laughs> not having any magic. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. They glare at you all. Can we just leave? Give her. To, you already gave her to seven gold, right? Can we leave? Come back later. Yeah, yeah. We can get out of here. Let's get. Let's leave. Kira just looks at it, and like you can see, Kira's also frozen in place as here you just like uh, flabbergasted for a second. And just starts moving as if nothing's happened. Just kind of tugs at Kira's sleeve. As she goes to speak. Come and go, she says, as uh, as you tug. As like she you you feel like she's in a trance as she doesn't move. She's like you're like you're dragging her behind you. What does she say? Sorry, you cut out for a second. Oh, sorry. Um, coming co, she says. Okay. I just walk over. I would recommend you guys stay a little bit away from me right now. Yes. As you enter the Kabuki uh, room, uh, Loniko. As, as like you like feel transfixed for a moment. The moment you cross the threshold, your eyes get immediately um, flooded with just this over like sensory overload of like just color and like f um, extravagant costumes and a raised wooden platform uh, with en an engraved plinth um, with steps on either side. And like as you look at the plinth, you see text dis uh, displayed in it but viewers have struggled with hearing or unable to use their charmed panels ch uh, to, or unable to use these charm panels to display the so uh, are able to use these charm panels to display the subtitles of the current performance and you also see amongst like like in front of this is also another donation box that notes if you wish to see a preview of the of performances that are currently shown at the grand otani hall please provide an offering thank you and um but you also see like aside from the platform on the platform is a uh screened partition with um that's just blank currently but you also see instruments lying on the sides a shamisen on the a left stage and drums on the right with pillows uh on the ground is there anything in particular that takes your attention or that like you'd like to like to do in this room I guess I'll put a coin in the thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Today's preview is the lightning and the crow and the song of gods and spirits as the room suddenly dims. Uh, the painted panel in the back folds outwards to create a backdrop of a mountaintop with clouds and red lightning flashing onto the magical background. Uh, music starts playing as the shamisen and drums start playing an epic grand ballad. Ethereal magical projections of a figure in an extravagant grand larger than life kimono covered in feathers and scales and a white and blue marked ma uh, white uh, makeup with blue markings um, stands at the, at the center of the stage in a um, in a pose where, in an elegant pose as they point and shout skywards Hakashai come forth and accept your fate 
there can only be one greater spirit of this island, and it will be I, Otani. As floating from the sky, a puppet made of five different actors, uh, four of them in like black robes, uh, while the one in front uh, dressed in um, ornate, in an, just as an extravagant and larger than life uh, kimono, um, designed to make it look like the head of the dragon, um, in a lion-like and draconic figure. Uh, the front, um, they circle around the sky of the sage as they come down in a dancing uh, motion. As like you, as they close, you see their uh, face is white with red marked makeup, and um, Otani, you old fool! This land is mine by conquest. Your puny wings of oily black cannot contain and withstand the crash of my thunder, the slash of lightning, or the force of my winds. As the two characters start to go into this grand, overly dramatic dance routine, depicting an epic fight between the two gods. That goes on for 20 minutes as they like stop and move into like these uh, grand poses uh, during the uh, larger sections of the fight uh, to allow more dialogue to flow. And um, as like they're about to reach the climax, the preview ends and the room returns to its uh, current lighting. And uh, Hiryu starts clapping and Kiku, uh, Kira kind of comes out of a trance as she's been watching this. How do you guys react to seeing that performance? Mesmerized, Rocky honestly. Ovation. Rocky stands up and starts clapping. Excellent wire work. If you wish to There's see... Wire? There were no wires. Well, that's even more impressive. If you wish to see the performance of The Lightning and the Crows and the Song of Gods and Spirits, it is being currently performed at the Grand Otani Hall every weekend for the next three weeks before it continues the circuit of the Eight Erasure Boom. The voice uh, we're going to exclaims. Sonika like politely claps, <laughs> but she's kind of just like, oh. Understandably so. As you hear. <sighs> echo th and ring through your ears, Lonico. God damn it. I want these cards outside my brain. <laughs> How about they fuck off? <laughs> um, anything else in the room that takes your interest? I shall look at all the instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, this section, uh, displaying the instruments, um, this table showcases a set of instruments that are used as part of the live performances um, to guide the dancing and the musicality of the spoken word poetic scripts. Uh, there are a few scores uh, from the most popular pieces in Kabuki in front, like in this booklet. Uh, most of the songs uh, are from the Eight Reishibu. As you like, flick through them, you can see like there's various scores for both the shamisen and drums, and just like the accompaniment with illustrations of the dances alongside them. Uh, why is why is this book so big? Is it just like there's a lot of information in it, or is this like actually a relic in itself? That is a big book, and that that one contains a lot of information as well. That's um, full of illustration and history. This book talks about the history of the Otani Grand Hall, uh, originally built as a resting stage that the goblins would use. But after seeing their own stories shown through the art of Kabuki by the Bakoran, they would turn the hall into a bigger, grander building. Uh, that would stage both types of performances and is one of the oldest, grandest stages for Kabuki plays. It is part of the legendary semi sentinel tour circuit that is used to host the eight Reishibu, the eight great plays of Shion culture. With the sixth, uh, that is um, famed as like the story of Otani, the lightning and the crow, and the song of gods and spirits, being the hall's main display, uh, which it's built to uh, tell that one specific story. It's also home to guy uh, to the guild of the Reila Nagana co uh, clan of the Kabuki guild members. A guild that had fallen into obscurity but climbed its way out uh, by using the same goblin tails used to make the halls with uh, what it is today and shared them to the mainland. Wow. <clears throat> Any 
Anything else? Or are you guys still just like looking around? Uh, I think that's all Randall really is entranced by. That was a great performance. Yeah. Yeah, like it almost feels like the air's just been sucked out of the room from just seeing that performance. I feel like that was a perfect last last stop before we actually hit this uh, this exhibition for the the four kings. Mm -hmm. The wisdom kings. Wisdom kings, yeah. As Kira and Harry, you follow. Kira is moving very slowly oh. behind. As she's still like kind of just like tr needing to be dragged by you, Lo. Yeah, Lo will like take her hand if she'll let you... her make sure she keeps moving. Are you okay there, Bucko? She doesn't say anything. Her she okay, though? Blank. Uh, I'll tell you later. Oh boy, that's that's never good. Here, you he also looks worried when she, uh, you guys talk about. Um, Yuki. I mean, not Yuki, sorry. Um, what's it called? Uh, Kira. But as you step out into the gardens, it's a green, lush green area with a central building um, with trees marking the gardens all around and giant ponds and ornate uh, carve, wood carved uh, benches around on these um following a stone path you entering low mm -hmm. as you open the doors you see a wooden tory gate and a platform with water uh with a water little bo uh, uh, basin and a set of red ancient armor crouching in front of a sword uh, that looks to be like forged out like the the handle of the sword uh the hilt or the cross guard specifically looks like fire and on them um you see runes marked into the sword as it like uh, the armor stands in front of it and looks looks down at it you see a blue tiefling with giant ram like horns and like tinkling jewelry um jingle as they're just rummaging through the books and searching as like their white uh uh, uh harry like blazer like jacket flows as they turn around as soon as the door opens and they look like you've caught them by surprise as i'm going to put them on screen as do Chat i recognize is, them you do recognize them though while the other two you uh, see this handsome blue tiefling with black oily hair and like this black pointed splint on uh, turn and as soon as like they turn you see beside the doors are two g the same goblin guards are suddenly turn into the um crystal skeletal guards once again and as soon as like you step into the room Randall his face suddenly turns icy white and he panics not panics but like he like has like this just shock glaze expression over his face were you dragging Kira with you Lo? I have been yeah <laughs> wonderful and as soon as you drag Kira through the threshold, an alarm starts blaring. You! As Kira crosses the threshold, and she's like, she suddenly comes to. <clears throat> as you guys see on the wall, uh, a little sign that has like a picture of a few adventurers. Uh, as one little watery spirit climbs out of 
the little uh, image. You don't. You guys are too like transfixed on this moment to like fully comprehend what's going on. But as this spirit flies towards you, low, it gives you transpiration. As this person just stares at uh, Kira, and fury just fills her face. I finally have you. And they look excited. Oh. And the silk man session there. <laughs> Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. God damn you. Uh. I throw 50 shades of... I spit <laughs> of gray at his face. Eat that 5,000 page book. Actually, I don't want to throw it. No, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, hey. yes, huh? Hey, Rovol, by the way, I'm coming for your sword. Now that you're around, I'm coming for that. As soon Sue as uh, is my not character safe. makes a reappearance uh, on West Marches, my uh, character, uh, whatever his name was, uh, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna fight for that sword, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're not gonna, we're gonna move you guys to the other map. Thank you, everyone, for taking part in today's session and uh, joining us in the uh, second anniversary of Throne Top Sands. It um, was awesome. Oh, yeah. I loved the session. Yeah, it was great. I'm very glad. I feel it was very self-indulgent. Oh, I mean, it worked. Time. I don't know. Like, that worked for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed, enjoyed it. And I hope, chat, you guys enjoyed that, too. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take leave the headshots on screen. Um... Like that's kind of like my one of my favorite parts about D and D is just really seeing everyone's different like perspectives on their own lore and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. even when when uh, when Piper is telling me uh, stuff for their setting, I'm always like, God damn! I just want to see this animated. It was like the paintings and all that. I was like, I just want to see yeah. it. I just want to be here. I'm immersed in this goddamn museum. I'm very glad because like museums are always so fun. I also forgot that there there were other guards that were coming after us, kind of. <laughs> Fuck. Other guy. Yeah, let me just look for someone to raid. That's why I'm all sussy about everything having alarms on it, and now this happened. Man. <laughs> Have you seen these green crystal guys in West Manchester? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not seen, I mean, I don't think Randall has seen them. I don't think Randall has either. No. He's just like, what the hell? Goblin crystal people, okay. Oh, uh, goblin. <laughs> Guess that's how goblins look when they're not magic -y. Let's raid into this person. Let's see if we can read them. But yeah, um, if you wish to take part in uh, the giveaway, this is your last literal chance. Uh, once the stream goes uh, ends, we're gonna be ending the giveaway. I'm gonna be announcing the winners in the Discord um, because it's uh, it's crossing over Instagram and Twitter. If you want to quickly enter, you can also use Instagram and Twitter uh, to enter too to win either a Lone Eco pendant, a Rocky, uh, or Art from either me or Sam. Um, get someone task merch. Uh, and also, you'll, uh, if you follow those socials, you'll get note of the task positive challenge where you can win. Um, after, I'll sort that uh, after the stream, uh, Baron. I think it might also be like, it's just like, it's a bit funky. Um, the really cooldown stuff. Um, but yeah, like the, um, where you'll get a chance to win the Goblin King um card game and a bunch of other cool stuff uh with the poster challenge so if you want to see stuff for that yeah. join the discord or on instagram or twitter uh is there anything you guys want to shout out before we end the session win a game that literally piper will not let me buy i <laughs> <laughs> you can buy it whenever the kickstarter's out i, I want to win this on. at this point like i should be able to enter in that giveaway <laughs> I want. I'm not. I don't I, make the rules I, I want this so bad that I want to buy it, and he's like, "No." 
<laughs> Imagine the seller of a video game or something, any other product, being like, "No, don't buy it." <laughs> oh, listen, man, it's it's just right now. It's like gonna be a hundred bucks for you to buy. It's so absurd. It's a hundred bucks of love. <laughs> yeah. Ten pounds. First time and round up. We'll spend money nice. that way. Exactly. <laughs> See, I am this character. <laughs> And I am a uh, Rocky, so I have to forbid you from making purchases. <laughs> See, we bought. This is actually we're not even RPing here, people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all I put I put on a funny little voice, which isn't even like I I feel like I have that. I I I it's just a bit of a exaggeration of, of a voice that I sometimes slip in. So you know, I just like talking like a pirate sometimes. <clears throat> Sam is actually a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is actually, this voice here is actually my fake voice that I'm putting on. Yeah, no, it's just because other people get scared otherwise. I talk like this all the time. But yeah, with that, um, <laughs> 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 the music cut out for me. I don't know if like, it was just anyone else. <laughs> yeah, with that, just the perfect amount gonna... of silence in between that. Yeah, no, you just ended. It didn't say anything. I mean, the music just stopped. It never does that. Couldn't take it anymore. I don't think it could. We didn't stop the mute. We didn't yeah. stop the music. If there's anything you guys want to say before we we bounce, the and then thing. um, well, ho hopefully we'll have a session next week. But we will let you know in the Discord. Um, thank you guys for taking part in the session. You're all stars, and hopefully we'll see you guys join in next time and like use your use some more redemptions and do some funky shit and help or hinder the party with me. Because it's always a blast help having you guys us. interact. Help us. We just had alarms go off. Help us. us. Help us. Cass is a madman. Help us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone... Yeah, I'm glad. if anyone in chat gets that reference. Wow. If anyone in chat gets a reference before the stream ends, you can have an extra entry on the house. Wow. But yeah. Oh, oh my god. We got him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You did it. <laughs> he did it. Well done. You did it, man. Oh, I love you. But yeah. Uh, um, uh, we're gonna be raiding into uh, Lesma Pixels as they do some really cute little little stuff. They do a lot of really cool stuff, actually, and they're a very small channel, so I think it's uh, worth it if we. Uh... The, re the reference Baron was Kaz is a Kaz is a madman. Help us, save us. Yeah. You got till the raid ends. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for uh, taking part in the stream. I'm gonna put on the end music, and then uh, I don't know what that reference is, and I wish I could say it. But yeah, see you guys next uh, session. Thank you for stopping by. We hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.